Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some K2SE. Although, first I wanted to play around a little bit with the lab. Uh, I've been uh, messing around with this... Uh, what should I describe it as? It is a prototype of what is going to be a dispatching system. Um, so we can have all of our spaceships go via Foenestra to all of their destinations. A uh, little bit of a spoiler if you're not deep into SpaceX, but Foenestra is a weird place that is equidistant from everything. Or at least equidistant from every uh, entrance slash exit to a solar system. Um, so we want to... And it's actually only 10,000 distance away. So even the shortest interstellar trips, uh, I think, benefit from this. Um, so we want to send our ships to Foenestra, to their destination, back to Foenestra, and back to, let's say, Nalvis Orbit, if that's going to be our base. Um, I think I will... I'll be looking for a, a smallish moon, like maybe this. Uh, that's nice and close to the interstellar map that will actually reduce the travel distance even further um, to everywhere else. Talum Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, so what I've got so far, uh, the ship that I'm that I've thrown together for this little prototype is very simple, but it's it's the basis of what we're going to be using. Uh, red wire goes to the console input, green wire reads, uh, or rather sets requests for a buffer chest, and reads other things like spaceships, fuel, uh, water, if we're running a reactor, and so on. Um, and there's no logic on the ship itself. There's just uh, anchor, target IDs, and a speed signal. Or maybe we get the speed signal from an accumulator. Um, as for the actual places where it lands, um, the destination is quite simple. Well, somewhat simple. Um, so at each outpost, uh, these will probably be in orbit. We, we I did check, we'll have space elevators by the time we have spaceships. So I think, unless it's on a very small moon, um, I'm not sure where the threshold uh, to make that decision will be exactly. But basically, um... Most of the time it's probably going to be in orbit, but we're going to have an outpost, we're going to be getting core mine, uh, core fragments or whatever, and we're going to report back to Foenestra uh, how many stacks of this item we have, with some simple division. Uh, we've got this contraption... Oh, that was... that was quick. Uh, this contraption right here... Well, first of all, we on the green wire, we set the requests for the buffer chests. Um, on this red wire, we've got set destination to Foenestra all the time. Send a launch signal when the ship has... Uh, when the ship is full. I might set this to work based on uh, robot inactivity. That way we don't have to set a target based on the size of the ship. Hey, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but whatever the case, when the ship is full, it's going to take off. Destination is Foenestra. Uh, set requests to whatever we're picking up here. All very straightforward so far. Um, this is just subtracting whatever we've got in our chests 
from the robot network to get the total that's in the ship that we can't read directly. Uh, and then this contraption uh, is a little bit more interesting. Uh, I've got it laid out here a bit more easy uh, to read. So basically, we want to know when a ship takes off or when it arrives, depending on what we're doing. Um, there's no special signal to do that or anything. But what we can do with signal timing is figure out if a signal just started to be received or if a signal was removed. Um, so here we have uh, our arbitrary signal, spaceship, and we've got if anything detected, output green signal, and then if anything detected, output red signal, um, but we've got two ticks here and one tick here. So one tick after there's something detected on this green wire, there's going to be green signal on this wire. Two ticks after this is detected, there's going to be also red signal in this wire. Therefore, if we're detecting green but not red, a ship just arrived. And we can invert that to say... Um, uh, where did I invert it? Yeah, here it is. We can invert that. If red signal greater than green, it means the ship just left. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we can detect if a ship uh, arrived or if it left. And what we're doing here, we receive a signal of... Uh, I'm just to simplify it to make it a bit more universal. I'm receiving it as steel chest to represent how many stacks of resource are available to be picked up at algae. So we're, we've got a signal of 256, but that's not quite accurate. There's actually 512, I think, 512 stacks um, over here, and that's what we're transmitting. But I've got a counter. Uh, on that same green wire, we've got a memory cell for specifically spaceships, so it's not going to affect the other signals. Um, and when uh, we, we go spaceship times negative however many stacks... Uh, fit in the sh in the ship. Uh, so if there is a spaceship on the way to the destination, we're going to pretend there's 256 fewer stacks of resource available to be uh, to be picked up. And the moment a ship arrives uh, at the destination, uh, green, red, red. Green greater than red means the ship just arrived, therefore output negative one spaceship uh, onto this counter. So basically this is going to keep track of how many ships have been sent from Foenestra to the destination that have not yet arrived. Um, we send a ship... I, I haven't finalized how I'm going to do this, but I think I'm leaning towards um, so that I don't have to have a memory cell on the ship for what anchor ID to use. I want to have just, at least for each destination, uh, I want to have just one uh, just one berth like this. So the ship will leave from here to go to the destination. When it comes back here from the destination, It'll park here for a moment as well, then it'll go back to Nalvis, then it'll come back here every time. So because we're doing it that way, um, we need to check, does the ship have resources? If it gets here empty, then we want to send it to Algae. Um, once it turns out Algae is asking for a pickup, and if we do have any of whatever resource it is, uh, we want to send it back to, let's say, Nalvis Orbit, or wherever wherever our main base is going to be. 
Um, so we've got if there's core fragments, uh, send it back to Nalvis. That just goes straight through. Um, if there are zero core fragments and there's at least 256 stacks of stuff to pick up at that destination, uh, send through planet, well, whatever the destination signal is, and spaceship launch. Uh, and then this thing is just... It's looking for specifically antimatter stream. Uh, it could be water, ion stream, anything that tells us that our ship has landed. Anything that wouldn't be on the red wire. Uh, and we can't look for resources because this is set requests. So the green wire is going to be connected to fuel, uh, water, whatever else we might need um, that it can read. Uh, this doesn't have to be super specific, but it does save us a combinator or two. So we're just going to say if destination equals um, the destination where we pick stuff up from when the ship is here, um, we're going to detect something like antimatter stream. That's how we know the ship has arrived. And then we do our one tick, two tick, passing through the signal, green and red. Uh, if red is greater than green, it means a ship just left. And uh, when that happens... Yeah, if, if the ship just left and the destination was the pickup location... Uh, then we're going to go plus one spaceship on our counter. Um, and I don't want to say that's pretty much it. This is a prototype that I'm still thinking through. But it might be getting close. I anticipated a problem or two whereby if a ship is parked here and it's not yet being called to go to the destination because there aren't enough resources yet, then theoretically there could be a ship full of resources on the way back waiting to park here. However, as long as the resources keep flowing, um, my, my first thought was, well, we could just have lots of storage, uh, lots of storage space at the destination. But even without that, uh, as long as the resources keep flowing, uh, this ship will leave for its destination and make room for the other one sooner or later. And uh, worst case, you're going to end up with like a bunch of sh a bunch a, a bunch of ships sort of queued up, full of resources to come here. And then once you send a ship towards the destination, um, it'll get out of the way. Uh, yeah, it, it should work itself out and give you the same overall throughput in the long run. So I'm thinking... Ideally, I would love to have a system where this could somehow dispatch things to all destinations. But if we copied this for each destination... Uh, and used generic ships with the same uh, with the same clamp IDs set and everything, um, that could actually work just fine. As long as we have enough ships, um, and we'll be able to see very clearly if we have enough ships. Just like if we look at a depot, uh, or, or half the depots in LTN, and we see trains stopped at the depots, um, we can get a feel for whether we have enough uh, trains. It's going to be a little bit similar with spaceships, I think. Especially if we can see the count for how many ships have been sent to a destination. So we could have, like, let's say, I don't know, 20 ships and 5 destinations and ultimately... Maybe they're queuing up to come here. I don't know. There might be a little... Uh, 
There might be a little Q issue that I'm not thinking of here, but I think this might actually be pretty close to already being our dispatching system. I'll have to think it through a bit more and experiment a bit, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I threw together a while ago today. I like where this is going, anyway. Let's continue with K2. Uh, where is it? K2, S, E, and so on. And back to some more mundane matters. Um, we've got... We've got plans for our electronic components. I don't suppose I left exactly the right amount of room to fit this. Oh, it looks like I did. Just started on my first SE run today. Enjoy it. Good luck. I don't know if good luck is the right term for an SE run. Um, so this is going to go down. Maybe careful planning, indeed. Uh, and then... Maybe like this. So we're going to have stone. Uh, we need... Half a belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be coal. Stone. Water, of course. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, plastic and glass are going to have to come up here. Do we have... We don't have plastic yet. Um, I might have to... Do we put plastic directly into red circuits? We don't. Hmm. And plastic is just coal and petroleum. Um, I could build it somewhere down here and add it here, but I feel like that's going to be a little bit of a mess. We could perhaps... I want... Hmm, I would like this to be close to the red circuits. But on the other hand... Copper cable and electronic circuit. Yeah, yeah, these two, these go on the outside. So that's going to go up here. Something like this. I might do a storage for it, actually. That's a bit big. Two by two. You definitely want luck, like not getting Vitamelange planets without mineral water, indeed. Now that I think about it, I've never seen the K2 SE planet resources. Uh, me neither. Not really. Not yet. Um, we don't quite have room to do what I want if I do it there. So let's go loader and loaders like this. And if we need it somewhere else, we can probably steal it. I think I checked FNEI and there wasn't... There wasn't anything like continuous throughput that we needed this for. Just the red circuits. I'm getting a little bit carried away here. I was still trying to figure out where I want to put plastic. I could put plastic here, depending on how much we need. Um, let's see. Chemical plant? That would be very convenient. Plastic's usually kind of fast, unless, uh, unless K2 has something to say about that. 
Oh, and there's coal here as well. I wonder... How fast is this going to consume coal? A little bit slower than... 0.46. We can probably pretty much ignore that. So maybe even... Just squeeze plastic in here. How fast is this? 10 per second? And we've got 15? And this is less than half of one? That's actually excellent. You only need tiny amounts for the reds. Could even do plastic at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do plastic just for the reds here. And then do it somewhere else for the bus. That's a good point. We don't need plastic directly for reds, do we? No. It's only electronic components. So what's our rate like? Uh, plus 14 plastic? I don't know. I really feel like... If, if we can... That's getting a bit too ambitious with space efficiency, but maybe if I stretch this out a little bit, we could have our plastic bus input right here. Oh, red circuits were going to be here. Which is fine, I think. Um, how much coal? We've got two belts. Plastic. Does plastic get bursty? I think plastic's kind of consistent, right? Electronic components, cannon shell, explosive cannon shell, heavy rocket. Uh, not worried about this for a while. 20 for an air purifier. LDS, of course. Yeah, so we, we're going to want uh, pretty much as much plastic as our base will support, more or less. Uh, 40 per second? That's pretty good, actually. Okay. I think... I think we will stretch this out just a little bit. Wait, 40 per second? We can't... Well, I can put it on a blue belt later. We're not going to need 40 per second at first. Let's just build out 30 per second. 28, 32, okay. So then... All of this... Uh, at least a couple of tiles to the right. One, two. And coal up here as well. Can we fit the pipes? I think so. What's the best way to do it? How much petroleum is this? 280 per second. Yeah, that's kind of a lot at this point. Um, but I just want to build it so it's extensible. Wait, how, man how many is this? Seven. Uh, me no likey odd numbers. This is fine. Or maybe we could do it on the inside, that might be better. If 
feel like the petroleum on the inside is going to be a bit neater. Somehow. Might want to move that up a bit. Wait, how many more can fit? Uh, sure. Let's move it up one tile. Okay. And then... Fantastic plastic. How fast are these individually? Two per second. Yellow would probably be fine. Wait, it's even slower with the coal. And then just a bit more belt here. That looks kind of weird. Let's do it like this. Um, and then petroleum, oops, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Uh, and we can maybe, connect that somewhere as well. Consistency, because why not? Actually, if I, ever, if I ever want to put beacons in here, that's not going to work. So we should probably put the pipes on the outside after all. Shouldn't be difficult. Nice. Let's pretend we're going to put basic beacons here eventually, because we might. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, something like this. And then undergrounds. Might as well have storage here. And then we need plastic. What's the neatest way to do this? Hey, Sigma Bean and Pink Pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Only need tiny mounts for the reds. Could even do plastic at the bottom of the red build. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. We're doing it here. Um, do you plan to do a city block? Yes. But for now, we're stuck with a bit of a main base to get started. Tiroir de Peace. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just do small local build and bus build. Blue Belt is researched in space. Oh my lord. I guess we're not going beyond this while we're on the ground. You can justify eight plants by saying you'll just use prod modules. <laughs> Indeed. And prod modules for plastic is a good use. That's true. That's a very good use for it. Nightfire. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Regathian, if I didn't say so. 
Storage for plastic is a bit overkill though. Nah, it's fine. Store, store, store all the things. Since you'll never run out of petrol, but we do in K2. And you're belt capped by the build. Top two plastics aren't depositing now? Uh, yeah, that's true. So, Balaji, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Because the loader... Oh, yeah, yeah, the loader's yellow. Tree. Okay. Um, so then... We're probably just going to have glass coming up this way. So I want to... Have the plastic added to it gracefully. Oh, that stuff's coming from up there. Good, perfect. In that case, it's going to look a little something like this. That, that's not right. Something like that. I wish we had three by three boxes. does that fit into our plans? Pretty well, I should hope. Transport belt ghost is in the way. Fantastic. But if we're going to keep with our design here, we'll want to move it up like three tiles, or at least this part. Is there any reason why I can't just move all of this up three tiles? I don't think there is. One, two, three. Well, that's just for illustration. So then... Our plastic bus is going to be here. Uh, we could just do it. It's a little bit awkward, actually. Can we do a bigger warehouse? Like a 4x4? Four four? Maybe... Um... Yeah, we've got room. Let's do that. Just barely. All the plastic. Top left plastic has no coal. Top left plastic has no coal. Indeed. Uh... Captain Dante, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I need to fix my font size here. Where is it? That's not what I'm looking for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I close this? There we go. Uh, Beth Kinda Sorta, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you run out of petrol, plastic is the least of your issues. That, well, plastic goes to a lot of things. For the funny strategy of having cars just be two by three boxes, I'm guessing you'd object to builds with cars in them. I can't really make cars accessible by bots or anything. I don't have some uh, moral objection or something. It is very cheesy and funny. Alright, so this is going to be glass. As is this. Now glass is here. Fantastic. And here as well. Might want to rebalance that. Stone over here. That's going to go this way. That looks kind of weird. So this was stone, right? Red belt. I should probably start handcrafting these filtration plants. I think I've got one. We are, of course, going to want some water pipe. Uh, either way, that won't be too, too much trouble. How much water are we looking at? Six times... Oh, it's almost nothing. Cool. We need four crushes. And another five filtration plants. I need steel beam, multi-cylinder engine. I think we've got steel beams down here. We do. Fantastic. Multi-cylinder engine I haven't actually bust yet. But they're pretty easy to throw together with the right material. Iron gears as well. There we go. How many more of these were we making? Another five. We need quite a few chemical plants. Oh, I've actually already got them. I was gonna just handcraft a couple to get started. But this is fine too. All the belts. Don't have any of these yet. Hello streamer and viewers. Is Crastorio the many intermediates mod? Uh... Not that much more than space exploration, I would think. Beep, beep, boop. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I really need to... I really do need to fix the 
font size here. I don't know why it's changed it, but I am squinting a bit to check chat. Where even did the settings thing go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why doesn't clicking on settings do anything? Where's it all gone? Oh no. Uh, I might have to have a look at this during the break. Uh, why can't things just stay in the same state one day after the next? Hey, Evil Plum. Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Second sand belt is only side loading. Only side loading. What do you mean by that? Second sand belt. Second sand belt is only side loading. But that's what we've got all these splitters for. Not from the second crusher is wrongly connected. Second crush. Oh, I see. Yep, thank you. No more yellow belt. Oh, that's a lot of that. That's a long crafting queue. And coal is going to be here. Where is coal? It's only down here. So splitter. Actually, we do need. A red here. I should just use red belts. That uh, doesn't look right. Handcrafting is slow. I need eight steel furnaces. Uh, for that I need steel, weirdly enough. Let's go pick up some more belt while we're at it. Steel. And I think I've got all the, all the things I need for the moment. Oh wow, if I don't add a splitter, I'm going to have to run all the way back here. Let's just not worry about it yet. To get max throughput, that is. I'm going to be needing some pipe. Uh, ten of these. That's actually everything I can handcraft at the moment. Where's iron? Oh, here it is. Why can't I build this? Oh, tree x-ray is being a little bit deceptive as to where this tree actually is. Give me some iron. Red belts are not that expensive in this pack, so you could justify switching to them as the primary type to 
save inventory space. Four iron gear plus one transport belt. That is actually... Wow, that's only four more iron? No, it's... Wait, what? Oh, this makes two belt. So 1.5 plus one. It's, it's actually quite a lot more expensive, but still, it's not that expensive. Um, I think Red Belt in vanilla is considerably pricier. Probably about ready to start putting down some power poles. At least some of them. Don't actually need any power poles here. Oh, one pole could cover all of this? Okay. Fair enough. That's how you want to do it. Let's get these inserters placed. And then I'll just click and drag power pole across here. Actually, I think, judging by the way, it didn't override that ghost. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. It's fine. Symmetry. Close enough. Nope, it would have killed the ghost, weirdly enough. I'm going to need a whole lot of assembly machines. 48, as a matter of fact. Let's just get a few of them built to start with. And now we can click try. What? Oh, this killed inserters already. No. Let's just manually mirror this. Seems good. And down here as well. That's about as neat as that could get. Did kill one yellow inserter, indeed. Alright, we got our furnaces, and one spare. Fantastic. Looking forward to plastic. It's 1.5 iron per yellow belt, 5.5 for a red. Yeah, I saw that. Let's grab some more yellow. That's an enormous difference. Yeah, I think it's still cheaper than vanilla for red belts, though, right? By a con uh, by a considerable margin. Not that it's not that the margin between yellow and red is necessarily different. The ratio, that is. Okay. Um, oh, and this is gonna 
Go over here, actually. Cool. We're not using assemblies for anything else here. All right. Uh, what are we looking for? Petroleum. I need to drag that from all the way down here, I think. That's water. This is petroleum. Gonna need some... Well, probably gonna need some more steel pipe. Let's get ahead of it. Did we cover this with power poles? We did not. Let's pretend there's... Can I paste that? I can. Let's pretend there's going to be beacons here. Um, that kind of sucks a little bit. Does that make any difference? No, it doesn't. Alright, you can go there. Don't have any more undergrounds. Let's grab some more iron. annoys me because using red belt and blue belt early is the biggest pitfall. Well, it's going to slow you down, ironically. That's about it. I need the car. Oh, it's up here. I mean, I don't strictly need it, but it would be nice. So petroleum comes from here. I did want a bit of a T intersection so that theoretically it could go to both resources if it's short. I don't think it quite works that way though. Um, why don't we do it like this perhaps? And where are we going? Petroleum... Oh, that's so nice. Steel pipes for the win. And where are we? Steel pipe. We'll need it to go to the other side as well, but that should be no issue whatsoever. Alright, corner time. we go. And connect this. And that. And it would probably be best if I do this around in a bit of a loop. Let's pretend... Considering we won't have blue belts for a long time, 
I don't think I'm going to go much further than this. Um, but let's say... Like that. Apparently I've run out of... Oh, here we go. And then I just need some regular pipe again. don't we connect this and see how much we've already got? I think we've already got some plastic. Yep, there's our first plastic. Very, very nice. Next we need a uh, stone to actually make its way over here. May as well start with the red belt here, why not? I'm definitely glad I didn't go for four lane belts, uh, buses rather. I don't want the hassle of figuring out which resources are going to need four lanes in the first place. And I don't want to have to build this base too big with no bots or anything. And two should be plenty for most resources. There's our sand. Uh, we don't have water here yet. I can steal it from here. Where's the car? There's no way this build survives getting blue belts. Yeah, no, it's not supposed to. Uh, let's see. Pipe. This way. Oh, that figures, after I so carefully avoided those rocks. Where are we going, exactly? I can see the tile, it's right here. So, something like that. There it is. There we go. And through here. I can't tell you how tempting it is to go just steel pipes already. Partly because of the length and partly so that we don't have to have two separate types. There we go. That's our quartz. And that'll be our silicon. And that, once we get glass here, will be our electronic components. So let's measure... Oh, I already did measure this out. So we just have to connect it. Four lane bus just means you have uh, less gaps, not more lanes, less gaps. What do you mean by less gaps? I would still have a gap of two tiles between each uh, set of belts.
Why is there no... Oh, I see. Which will get there first, I wonder. Looks like silicon... Oh, I didn't get that bit about. So yeah, silicon on the left. This will be our first electronic component. Fantastic. Alright. Little bit of belt down here. And is that everything? No, we need a copper cable and electronic circuit. And I totally forgot the part where we have to make copper cable. Um, wow, okay. That's a little awkward. How much copper cable do we need to support this? 12 per second? That shouldn't be too many machines, but where are we going to squeeze them in? I could steal it from here, but that would be ridiculous. Uh, let's see, 12... It's actually just six machines. Hmm. The whole thing only needs probably one belt, uh, one half belt of green circuits and copper cable, if I use red. So if I were to... There's not quite enough room. That is unfortunate. I guess I'll just put it up here. In fact, we've already got copper here. Um, is that supposed to be iron as well? I think it is. Yeah, it is. How much copper would this consume? Only six per second. So less than, less than half of a yellow belt. We could do it like this. I'll leave a little bit more room. Over here. And I'll make it a red belt just to be safe. Make sure it's red all the way down. There we go. Yellow into half red actually is perfect. Hey, Captain Troop. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Not too bad. We are just about ready to get red circuits. Oh wait, we actually just want a half belt, don't we? And then... And then the question is how we merge it in with the green circuits. Uh, I could make this an underground... Green circuits have to come from all the way down there. I think I see where this is going. Down we go. I don't have any reds on me right now. Uh, we don't need it. It's going to be a half belt of red. Or if that.
No, I think I already calculated it might be a half delta bread. Uh, 12 per second, yeah. So yellow is fine for this. And we'll have that go around like this. Where am I red under underneath these? Give to me more of those, please. And some red melt. I already had some, actually. That's fine. Squeeze this through here. Looks a little bit more consistent, even. And our poorly planned copper comes all the way around here. And again, it's only 12 per second. Uh, wait, no, that is more than half of a yellow belt. What am I thinking? So upgrade that to red. Oh, this part could have been yellow though. Derp. Hey, Yopo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Salvage the reds. It's fine. Okay, so we've got copper cable, red circuits, and electronic components. And that should be red circuits. And that means uh, I was going to say that means substations, but well, I was going to say that means big poles, but we've got them. But I realize that substations, but we haven't researched them yet. Um, but we will be able to make those the instant they're researched. And I think that's our last, uh, our last speed bump before we can put, uh, let's see. Card? Tech card. Oh, I still haven't researched it? I thought I did. Does it come out of a different machine? Blue tech card is made in assembly machine 2 because it needs fluid. Okay. Tech card. There it is. Yeah, we are now able to make chemical tech cards, which means uh, we will be putting science into the main bus base. Nice. Before we do that, let's finish our build properly. And I would like to go to the trouble of placing all of this belt that hasn't been added. That's been planned but not added to the main bus as well. Because I'm sick of dragging these out at the time that I actually need them. Alright, we're going to need a bunch of assembly machines. Inserters, I think. We need 29 more assemblies. 
That is at least seven. Let's grab some iron. Automation cores, I think we're fine. Iron gear. Iron gear. As soon as something else other than burner assembler goes yellow, I want to look for resources that I have to pick up. Uh, that sounds like a good amount. We forgot one inserter. Oh no. Where's my inserters? Here we go. Grab another one of these. Uh, sure. One more stack of that. Jakubas. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Plastic, you say. Uh, this bit's missing. I don't think I even connected that yet. At all. And this one. Coal goes here. Nice and easy. Fantastic. And don't forget these two. Up we go. Down we go. Up we go. That doesn't look right. I'll do a mouse over for all of these and check that none of them say products finished at zero. Once I think I've finished. Rather slow, I can barely see them working. What's this one's problem? Copper cable. I'll just double check our rate. Uh, 12 per second. Oh, this is on a half belt to begin with. Dub. If I had used the. If I had set the inserters to use both sides of the belt over here, that wouldn't have been a problem, actually. And we can just have a, a few more buffered up if I use both sides of the belt as well. It'll also keep the inserters from having trouble outputting, um, getting in each, each other's way. Okay, products finished. Looks good. Looks good. Fantastic. And plastic. Very good. Very good. And I know these are all working. Nice. Oh, and these ones. Yeah, I'm not surprised this one hasn't done that much, but that's fine. Cool. So now we have red circuits on the bus. We have plastic on the bus. Let's get all of the belt construction finished. I should grab the car for this. I just have to watch out for the pipe sections.
Father Birth. Close enough. And we're out of belt. Not for long. It's kind of fun, almost. Compared to slowly walking. I think I ran over a stick. This way. I see that coal belt missing. Don't think you'll escape. Still got quite a few to go. That's not how I meant to resolve that tree issue, but okay. I think I missed a single piece of belt back here. Oops, it's fine. now. What is this? Iron beans? yellow belt again, running over little twigs again, The only purple I want to see on the map is the space that we've left to expand some of these builds now. And this is just planning. Okay. Now then, uh, where or oh where shall we put our science? Do I care about building over that stone? Probably not. Rare metals are a different story. I would prefer not to my uh, not to build over it if I can help it, but it's not that big of a deal, especially given the amount of space we have. And who knows? This is five point three millstone, uh, and who knows how far uh, we will need to build this in the end. All right, so let's copy this. And I just want to get a bit of a feel. For where we might put our science builds. So first of all, let's redo red science or blank tech cards, I suppose, that will... Those are all prerequisites we need anyway. Blank tech. 
The five mil patch will last you well into the core mining phase. Yeah, that's about what I expect as well. So first let's lay out the different tech cards. And I don't know if we're... I'm sure we'll eventually do rocket tech. Maybe it'll be in this base, maybe not. But um, I won't worry about it just yet. Not to mention the extra stone patch on the left. Yeah. Alright, so we need copper cable and iron plate. Steel, coke, and biomatter. Military science. Can we stop with the flashing? There we go. Uh, copper cable and wood. Wait, is it re is that the only option for the basic tech cards? Yeah, it is. I don't think I even put wood on the bus. I'll just have to bring it in from the side. Uh, automation core blank. Also blank, and also blank. Iron gear electronic circuit. Electronic components. Oh, well, that's for military. Overall, military is not that fast um, that we need it. Biter research data. So that's a prerequisite in that. Uh, electronic components and blank. Basics become obsolete. Oh, they do? Um, hold on. Let's do an FNEI. Basic tech card. Usage, none? Okay, so there's no recipe it goes into. But how can I filter out all of the things that basic tech card goes into? Well, we can, al we can always just tear down the build um, once that's done. You can stop using them when you go to space, yeah. Um, that'll be fine. Don't know how that happened. Okay. So blanks go into these three. Uh, electronic components took all of this stuff. I don't suppose I already went overkill enough with the electronic components. Uh, yeah, I kind of did. Did I just forget to leave room to put them on a bus? Or... It's only science, right? Electronic component. It's like science and a handful of things that we don't need to often. Modules as well, actually. Never mind. Um, I think I messed up by not leaving space for a couple of belts. Well, not that we need that kind of throughput. 12 per second total. I'm very tempted to just... Siphon off electronic components from here. Electronic. 
20 components. Uh, I'm very tempted to just sort of do something like this. There should be plenty of room to do that up here. Pick a dollies? Yes, indeed, that is the mod that lets you move buildings. Science needs modules too. Okay. Um, this should be enough for our starter base though. So wood and copper cable uh, for basic tech cards. Since those are going to be temporary and just basic tech. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Um, just having a quick glance over here at when we stop seeing basic tech cards. It's not that far away. So I think we'll just do those off to the side somewhere. And then we have iron plate plus copper cable uh, for our blank tech cards. Let's say we do like 12 of these. What's that? One belt of blanks for six and six. Seems reasonable. Um, what signs should we aim for, for the small base? Honestly, as long as it's, like, consistent, I don't care if it's, like... Well, let's see. This, for example, is 200... Something like, I don't know, 100 per minute? 100 per minute sounds possibly reasonable. Per minute, that's 900 blanks per minute. That's probably enough. Uh, 7.5. Uh, 90? They're going to have different rates, right? 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 2 seconds. Uh, if I do 14, that would be exactly 100 per minute. Would, would it not? 105, never mind. Let's do 90 per minute. Uh, we need blues. That goes in this type of assembly machine. Uh, now that I think about it, this will probably push it over 100 per minute. 135. 112. 90. I can live with that. And so blues also take 20 seconds. Nice. What goes into blue? Blank, glass, red, and sulfuric acid. Blank. Glass. Red circuit. And I won't even worry about the fluid. How much sulfur are we looking at? 900 per... Oh, per minute. Okay. 15 per second. That's easy. Um, so... I'll leave room for beacon in the middle. Four is actually the perfect number for a basic beacon as well. Uh, this doesn't work like the chemical plants, though, so... 
I can't exactly... There's gonna have to be, um, undergrounds like this, I think. Because it's not like I can just do this and fit inserters in or something, unless I use long arms. And we already have, um, unless I do a, sh uh, a fancy shared belt, which I could do, because this is one-to-one, -one, and then this is quite slow. We could find an excuse to do that. And we have room for basic beacon in the middle when it comes to that. Noel Cascade, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was going to say 90 per number is the usual number. 300. Nyron Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I got 60 per minute pre-space and then 120 per minute in space. So much downtime. Setting up new mining patches and planning new things. Science zooms in the background. A beacon can have one space, so you could rotate the center ones. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I would still try and like to try and make it fairly compact with or without the beacon. Could put belts on the inside instead. Maybe. Alright, so what I have in mind here, uh, just like the fancy belt we played with yesterday, is... Let's get power so it stops flashing us. Uh, let's see. Probably yellow is fast enough, right? Oh yeah, yellow is way more than fast enough. We're going to have input like so, input priority. Actually, I'll do it like stretched out a bit so it's a bit more clear for people who haven't totally grokked it yet. So we're going to have a input like this. It's going to have our shared resources, uh, advanced circuit, and blank tech card. Um, they're both going to come in from on the same half belt, actually. So let's see. Red circuit, blank tech card, and I th think, I think I am confused. What am I doing? So normally we do this. And we get our half of whatever this is. So now we have a quarter of a belt of reds. I think I have to do this for the blanks first as well. And then merge them. Um, let's do a little symmetry. Yeah, and we just have to have it on the correct side. And there it is. Okay. So the more compact version of this looks like this. A 
beacon can have one spa oh yeah, yeah. Even 60 per minute will be hard to keep up with while making new designs. You can do the same with only one splitter. How so? Master Block, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. It'll take half from one belt and half from the other. Yeah, no, I want the other half of the belt to be... Um, to be for a different resource. So that is going to be glass. And we're going to do something like that. Um, something like that. And then we need to recycle it back in. Let's see. That is... Going to look like this. Um, I guess we don't need the... Does it matter if the... I don't think it matters if, if the glass gets put into this. As long as we preserve which side of the belt is which. Wait, 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 wait. Blank tech card goes to the right. And then no matter what we do to mess up our belt, it'll sort itself out. I wonder if I should do input priority on these ones as well. Basically magic. Undead Hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I really need to practice this sushi magic. Yeah, it's great. So, we're, so all you need to really understand to be able to figure out the rest yourself here is we are bottle... Let, let's do this. Uh, we are bottlenecking this to one belt. Then we're splitting it, so we get 50% of whatever this is. And then we have input priority for the recycled stuff. Or I guess you could accomplish the same thing if you... If you make sure this uh, stuff never comes back as well. So this will always be 50-50. This is effectively what we're doing. We just recycle with priority to make sure that this part doesn't... That this gets blocked uh, instead of the recycled bit. And once, you, once you've got that down, you can start doing things like... Um, now it's going to be one-eighth of a belt, as opposed to a quarter of a belt. Seems dangerous. Black magic. Okay. Are all the splitters more or less UPS intensive than running a second belt? Uh, I don't know, but we're not going to do this often, so it's not going to add up to much. Um, that's going to have some underground pipe somewhere. We should assume, but I think we can not reach like that. This is fine. Okay. Oh, and let's confirm that this would actually work. Um, belt. Delete. And some sulfuric acid.
Oh, this is... This is not quite right. There's no middle here, so it's not going to be symmetrical. Uh, but yeah, that works. Wouldn't it get funky when your local isn't saturated? No, it doesn't. When your input isn't saturated. Uh, I can demonstrate this right now, actually. So once that runs out, you're going to see a gap where the red circuits would be once these run out as well. It takes a little bit longer for every last piece of red to get out of the system there because of the 50-50 split. But yeah, you can see there um, there's a gap where the red circuits would be. And then if we reintroduce this You've already seen this happen a little bit with some of the recycled reds. It sorts itself out. Do you need to recycle it? Uh, yes. No, not because... Uh, the, the reason is basically the inserters and assemblers uh, won't take from the belt in quite the orderly fashion, as you might imagine. Even with something as simple as um, vanilla engines, which is... Or, or like vanilla military science packs, which I think... No, this isn't it. It's kind of similar to this, except it's one to one to two. Uh, it's like iron gear pipe and iron plate, I think, or... That sounds wrong. Iron gear, pipe, and steel. And the pipe is two. So the pipe would be the glass here. Yeah, no, it's just like this, ratio-wise, actually. Except it'll be one to one to two. Um, but even if you use circuit logic to very, very deliberately uh, control when and how the inserters put things into... Uh, the machines making the engines. If you don't have a loop, it's going to get itself messed up eventually. Pipe gear steel, indeed. That's interesting idea with recycling. Yeah, it's just kind of a necessity with this. Okay. Um, so, these other builds are pr pretty straightforward. Um, everything else is just take from the bus. I, I haven't made sulfuric acid yet, but that's going to be very easy, straightforward, and we can do it wherever we want. Um, apart from feeding these with blank tech cards, we're just going to be taking stuff off the bus. For the blank tech cards, we will be taking stuff off the bus. What kind of rate do we need? Oh, wait. Uh, it might be overkill, but maybe we should pretend we're going to supply all of these at the same time. Uh, and that's actually surprisingly easy. Even without these being blue machines. Really? Rate. Uh, wait, what? Net rate 12. Net rate 10. Didn't I highlight something and said 3 earlier? Or... Oh, only half of these can supply all of this? Then shouldn't... Negative 4.5. 15. Um, okay. 
we actually need hardly any machines for blank data cards. I mean, not blank data cards, uh, basic, no, the blank tech cards. One blank t feeds ten final cards. Yeah, it's actually quite good. Okay, uh, so like four of those, or even three. Yeah, we only need three to supply the whole thing. Um, we're probably going to do the later science build here as well, and there's also military science. Uh, let's see. Magnus Totrap, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This would still be a little bit positive. I'll go with that. Oh, wait, that's... That would still be slightly positive. That's fine. So step one is a few blank tech cards. Resource rate is very slow. Um, we will need a machine for copper cable. So I guess iron will be on whichever half of the belt is more convenient. Um, on second thought, could we bring iron and copper here? Iron and copper. And then... It would be nice if I could just block half the belt here. I could use an insert. I'm actually curious now that I think of it. Can I change which side of the belt this goes on to? That's on the right side. If I change this to near, it does. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, let's just do a filter insert here. So it's near, I think. Splitter fixed for iron plate, uh, except then I would have to... Oh wait, no I wouldn't. Well, that wouldn't work. Yeah, that, that's, that's decent. I don't love the look of this, but I love using a filter inserter just for that even less. And we might want a fast inserter for that one. Okay, so that's our blanks. Uh, I'm pretty sure blanks only go into... These basic sciences. Optimization. Yeah, so we're not going to bust them or anything. Oh. Um. Okay. I need to clear this out a little bit. I think it's because my inventory size changed. There we go. So then we've got automation cores is all we need to add to make reds work. That's going to come off the bus somewhere. What's the rate like? Very, very slow. Um, on a per second basis. And I imagine this is going to follow the same pattern, yes. And this is going to follow basically the same pattern. I 
ideally I would like this to have enough room to do its thing. But also line up with the other ones. Okay. Um, that's going to be a little bit awkward bringing in the blank tech cards, isn't it? Maybe not. Oh, is the total blank tech cards less than half a belt? It is exactly half a belt. So if we put them on the correct side of the belt to start with... Say, the near side in this case? Or is that... No, that would be the far side. Alright, and then we just... Splitter... I could do something a little different than usual here, since it's all nice and slow. And we just have a belt for input and output, one each in the middle. Whatever's coming on the bus, it would be easier if we do the part where it merges somewhere like this, I think. part's going to look the same every time. That's not quite right. How far does the red underground reach? Far enough that we might just keep these together until we're doing the blues. Well, blues are next, I suppose. Maybe we don't do the fancy belt shenanigan. Well, no, if it's going to fit on one belt. Can I make it work? What's the neatest way to do this? That's the question. Very important. Leave space for beacon? Uh... Hmm. I have not done that. But I think a hundred signs per minute is fine, actually, or 90 signs per minute. We're going to be bottlenecked on actually doing things as opposed to pouring the resources into science. Now you don't have a spot reserved for beacon in your red or green. Yeah. It's fine. This isn't like blue circuits. It's not actually going to need a beacon, is what I'm realizing. So can we make this work somehow? Because I would really like that consistency. It would have to loop. And we would need these kinds of belt shenanigans. 
uh, to begin with. I think the loop would get a little bit messy. But we might be able to do it. That's unfortunate. I could maybe... There's no way I'm doing the pipes in the middle, I don't think. Could I reshape this part somehow? So it's kind of like... That would make that part worse. But I might like where this sideways thing is going. Oh, and we could just change this to be... Okay, let's see. Let's see if that's going to work. It might. So what was the resource? Uh, glass was... Advanced circuit and blank tech card. Blank tech card goes here. So this is... Red circuit. And then... Red circuit goes here. This goes here. I think that's right. Where's our... Where's our spawning thing? So we need to bring red circuit and glass in, like so. Is red circuit on the correct side? It is. Glass goes here. And this bit's wrong. And then we could do what we like with the pipes. Something like this, probably. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's just double check the rate. Glass is only 4.5 per second. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty good. So we can save three tiles here. And we could maybe... That's plastic. That's red circuits. Are we adding anything else to the bus up there? I don't think so. Those couple of tiles there are more than enough to keep things reasonable, I think. We also need electronic components, beta research data, steel, coke, and biomatter. How much beta research data are we going to be using? Um, it's kind of hard to... It's not like we can search for it, right? What do we need beta research data for? 
Military tech card. Oh, right. Military tech card is by the research data. Is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. Only for military tech, yeah. I think just a small build for this should be fine. I mean, this is kind of small. Sort of. Where are we putting our labs? Is advanced lab the same size? It is. Fantastic. How many types of science are we dealing with? One, two, three, four, five, potentially. Well, we'll worry about that later. There's going to be some kind of belts or sushi or whatever up here. Plenty of room to make that happen. Um, the way I've set this up, I kind of need the blank cards. Damn it. I could just steal some from this. Military overall is going to be pretty slow. Or I could even make it... I don't like making a dedicated one for military. Or we could do a really small military build. Steel is on the bus. Biomatter I have to deliver by hand, right? Until we automate it. I think I would rather... Just a teensy tines, uh, a teeny tiny build up here. Not overly concerned about that. Buffer up military? Yeah. The yellow insert is fast enough for the blank cards? Yes, they are. Oh, this has stack size 3, though. We're going to have stack size 2. So, not quite. Oh, and I probably could have done this. Okay. I could do a bit of spaghetti to take military cards up here. Or I could do the sensible thing and just copy this, make this military. That seems overkill for military, but who cares? It's very consistent. We're still positive on blank tech cards, so we'll bring... Huh, that's going to be awkward. Spider research data. It's not going to fit into our neat little world, is it? Spider research data. Coke. Oak is wood plus fuel, right? Uh, wood plus coal specifically, and some kind of fuel, or it can use one of those for fuel. We've got coal on the bus, we don't have wood on the bus, we can... Suppose we have wood up here somewhere. Um... Yeah, I think...
I think I'll just do what I should have done before. And we'll split this off. Military tech card. This can come from here. And we need BIDA research data. I'm guessing that's one to one. It is not one to one. Uh, it's very close to one to. It's not that close. It's one to two, I think. This is positive, this is not, uh, and this would be overkill, so yeah. Oak, steel, and biomatter. I would have to bring steel up. We could move this over a bit. We want this to look neat. So let's say we get steel and steel from the bus, wherever that's going to be. Coke and biomatter. Uh, can we support this with one furnace? We can. So we need coal and wood. We can get coal from here somewhere. And wood from here. And that's our coke. As the inserter feels like doing its thing. Inserter can keep up pretty easily, actually. Uh, and then we need biomatter as well. Could I maybe... How do we make biomatter? And how far is the scavenged biomatter going to get us? Biomatter. Uh, we make it out of petroleum and oxygen, actually. I think we can already make those. I mean, we. I think we can already make oxygen, that is. Oxygen. Empty oxygen barrel. Water separation. I thought we already had this recipe. Hydrogen oxygen. Electrolysis plant. Water separation. Advanced chemistry. Water. Did I miss it? There it is, water separation. So we just need blue science. And then it takes uh, an electrolysis plant. Okay. That's not too hard. 
So we can assume that we could have biomatter coming in from somewhere. Uh, where could we fit a electrolysis plant? It's relatively small. Whoops. I could even maybe... Water separation. Okay. We can't do much about where those outputs are going to go. Uh, what do we make our biomatter in? In a bio lab. When are we going to have that? Bio processing, blue science. It's not that far off, actually. Bio lab. It's the same size as the tree growers. Petroleum and oxygen. And I think we can just delete the uh, hydrogen if we don't find a use for it with a chimney stack type thing. Um, there it is. Layer stack. Burn hydrogen. Recipe pollution 0%. Fantastic. There is a better way for oxy. How early can we get it? Oxygen. Uh... What's uses? Water to... Wait, what? Atmospheric condensation... Condenser. And it just makes oxygen. Atmospheric... Oh! Well, there we go. Blue science. Atmospheric condensing... Uh, condensation. That's much easier. Fantastic. So we just give it that power and that petroleum. And that's our bio. Uh, it needs to go here. Okay, that's, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we've already got petroleum here as well, so... We could probably squeeze this through. Actually, probably a regular pipe will reach. I'm sure we're not going to need that much petroleum overall. Five batter. Ten petroleum makes five biomatter. Okay, we really want to use up all of the zerg creep that we find before this, but we can, we can do it this way as well. Okay, so something like this, and then, what's the best way? I, I want to use as few inserters as possible, if possible, but... Might be a little awkward. Since this is coming from the opposite direction. Spaghetti. And pretend we have petroleum. Oh, that is slow. Five per minute. How much does this consume? 22 per minute. So it's going to bottleneck on that, and I don't care.
Okay, that's fine. Although, if we're gonna... We should probably have a storage. Um, if that's gonna go slow and then we want a bunch of it all at once. Uh, Gideon and Neo Phoenix. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Alright, uh, so we're gonna have something like... Why don't we ha why don't we do a four by? We've got room. Just like that. And for now, uh, let's just pretend we've been saving that up. What is the creep called? Biomatter. Alright, so then we need this. Down here. If I do it that way, where's the output going to go? I guess we can do it like this. And that should be our military sites. I think. Oh, that is slow. 40 seconds. Cool. That's military science. Uh, automation cores we've already got on the bus. Iron gear and electro... Uh, oh no. Oh no. I made a boo-boo. Uh, we could do this thing again. Sort of makes it look more consistent. Um, so we need... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron gear and electronic circuit. Wait, no, what's the ratio? One to one to one, so it doesn't really matter. Iron gear, electronic circuit, um, that's gonna go something like this, and blank. Cards. I'm just realizing we don't have a way to, like, move this through. I mean, we do, it's just we haven't built it in yet. Hmm. In this instance, I would like the blank cards to be on both sides. I think we can do that. Might be a little tricky to fit here. Uh, and maybe... 
be another splitter to bring it over here as well. Can red reach across this? No. Well, kind of, yes. Beautiful spaghetti. Just as planned. Calculated. That's going to need a little tiny bit more room, though. Unfortunate. Okay. I think I messed this up, actually. I definitely, definitely did. Yeah, because we need a different shape if I want to do it like this. So what I want is half of the belt for these two on either side, because that looks cool. And then for this side... If we supply it with blank and blank, that's what I want. Is it just because I didn't? Oh, it's because I didn't do these filters already. Um, so I guess it's left side blank tech cards. Is it that easy? Could we be that lucky? I think we might be. Might have to make some room at first. That's looking good so far. Now, will it recycle the way we want it to? I think it will. Yeah, it should do. Doesn't matter how saturated this part is. Let's confirm that. This part could be fully saturated, and input priority will keep it working properly. The red circuit splitter filter, yes indeed. Yeah, that means I didn't even have to change the shape of this at all. Um, so we can we can still have our science look maximally cool. Make it three spaces between if you change mind about beacons. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I will. I, I think because 90 per minute overall really is going to be more than enough. And we could even put some storage in for each type of science. Um, I think I'll do just that. Just a one, a uh, single chest. Should be more than enough. So we got one, two, three, four, and if we ever do a fifth sign, so it can come back here if we do it in the main bus space. That ended up taking up less space than I thought it would. Look at that. So let's confirm, we got stuff coming off the bus that we've already got. We've got uh, wood. 
coming up from up here. We're stealing our electronic components from over here. Uh, we got... We, we have room to add bio lab and stuff for when we get that done. This will be enough military science-wise, I think. What's our rate like? It is all net positive. And then we can do some science, uh, some labs here. Uh, let's see. Lab? It's under production. Oh, and it's right here. How fast... How many labs do we need if we don't put... If we... Let's say we do put some... Rod. I'm not going to worry about prods yet. Not for this base. Also power poles. I think we'll be fine with power poles. E yes. Yes, we will be okay. With power poles. Okay. Uh, so we have one, two, three. Why is there no blue? Because there's no sulfuric. Acid. Uh, four. If I do two belts, then we would have to add another one later. What kind of sushi do we want? Oh, and how quickly, I wanted to know, how quickly will this consume all of our data cards? Oh, I forgot basic. Except basic is just that basic. Wood and copper cable. We've got copper cable here, and we've got wood here. But I understand the basic is really finite. We are going to run out of it. Run out of things that we have to make with basic in the relatively near future. So maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll manually supply the basic. Or we could use this belt here for the wood. And I could bring this copper cable through as well. That would work as well. Cable... Oh, we need both for that. That's going to leave iron stuck there forever. Can't win. Long arm. Alright, I don't care if that's slow. Um... We've already got things we can research that don't require basic tech cards, I think. Question mark? Yeah, there's a few. Or I guess I could do a few of these in a line. Perhaps.
How am I gonna? Oh, it's fine. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and up to six. I could do the the splitter belt thing to set them all to one eighth, but that would require a lot of space. Um, not as much if I put one thing on one side of the belt and the other on the other side. Uh, but I would need like. I would need like half a belt, a quarter, an eighth of a belt. Something like this. And this wouldn't be good enough if we're using one of these for two types of items because we need to preserve which side of the belt things are on. So that gets even more space demanding. I could do one, two, th uh, one, two, three belts of input for each lab, and we know that's as far as we're going to go with this base. I think we'll do it this way this time. So We'll do blank and military down the middle, because that's convenient. I'll add some storage for this. Red and green. And blue and potentially something else, uh, which would be rocket tech card. So this is going to sneak around this way, and this is going to do the opposite. Do a red. It'll look a bit better. Um, and we'll have to do. Oh, this is fine actually. feed from a box for the 500 or so you may need to use. Oh, for the for the basics? Yeah, this is fine. We can tear it up when, it, when we're done. Um, so what's our rate? Does it tell us without researching? We're not going to, like, accidentally cheat. Let's save. Um, I've been in the game. I've just been standing around here for a long time. Uh, we're not going to accidentally cheat if we do this, right? I don't think so. What can I even research? Well, I, I, I can unresearch something. Let's go for something that uses everything up to blue. Uh, preferably something that uses all five of these. Oh yeah, different researchers are going to consume at different speeds as well. Tank is probably as good as it gets. 30 seconds each. Alright, what's our rate? 84 per second, that's kind of perfect actually. Uh, we literally couldn't have got closer to the night. Sorry, per minute. Uh, we couldn't have got closer to the 90 per minute that we can produce without going over. I 
don't think basic is paired with anything above green. That makes sense. Okay, so we're not accidentally researching tank here, right? No. Well, that's... That's different. What is this, a uh, Bane Blade? Tank. Tank and Tank. They're both called Tank. Yeah, that, that's fine. Alright, I think that is it. Um, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with how little space this takes up in the end. Not, not a bad job, even if I say so. Um, so let's... Well, if I copy the cheat items, it's not going to make a difference. We're not going to be able to place them or anything. Let's see if I can put this here. Rock is in the way. I want to just manually remove these rocks first. Because I don't want to shift click and find out that something was amiss. That's it. Okay, let's start building. First is coal. And we need wood here. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to bring over, but not too bad. I should have... Uh, I can make a 4x4 four four storage. That's wrong. That's weird. Why do these not have recipes? Oh, they're military science. I, I was thinking there were basic tech cards for a second there. Also, our spaghetti science is dead again. Let's focus on placing the belts while we wait on that. I guess we did build onto the stone after all. Iron and copper. We have a little... I haven't blueprinted it, but... We have a little thing for that right here. Except we don't need an underground for that part. Red belt for this bit. Fantastic. Nothing but steel here. I think that's right. If you don't want the wiggle in that iron slash copper plate belt, you can shift that splitter to the northeast. If I don't want the wiggle, shift that splitter to the northeast. 
Iron slash copper plate belt. So this one. Next to copper cable. This, so this one right here. If I don't want the wiggle... Oh, I could like... Something like... Uh, if I bring this down one more time, I'll do that. That's probably not what you're talking about. That's southeast. Northeast, you say? It was here. Where am I going to fit the inserter? Oh, I think I see what you mean. Well, there's still gonna there's gonna be a bit of copper stuck there forever, but I guess that's fine. I'll li I'll live with it. That's that's what we'll tell ourselves. Directly below the blue inserter. Yes. It is neater. Whoops! 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 Um, let me go get some more resources so I can handcraft these things. Nice to see red circuits all over the belt. 14,000 already. That's good. I mean, I guess we did just spend a bunch of time designing. Um, also... Let's go resupply the spaghetti signs. Sorry, Mr. Tree. Getting to be about time I took a little break as well. Alright. Uh, I actually don't have much to give the spaghetti science right now. But that might get us to portable solar panels at least. Uh, I can already make modular armor. Let's do that. It's just 30 advanced circuits plus what I'm already wearing. Does this give me inventory slots? No, it doesn't. Modular armor, here we come. Red circuits. Pog champ. And I don't think we can make anything for the modular armor just yet. But nice to have that done regardless. Soon. There we go. A whopping 4x4. Four four. Alright, I think now is as good a time as any to take a little break. Let's do some words on stream. That'll start in... Just for the wiggle, indeed. In about 30 seconds, we'll do some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes, and then we'll finish building out science. Good luck, and have fun. Plus the inventory space? Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, that is nice. All right. Here we go.
Okay. Level 12 already. Nice. We'll continue that a little bit later. For now, let's continue with space exploration. And get ourselves... I do have the blue... Yeah, I do have blue science already. Let's throw together the minimum to get a bit of every science. Um, I do already have how many labs down here? Uh, six. So let's just build six here. And we'll recycle the old ones. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does it do that? I think I know why actually. And then we need some belt down here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. A little bit hard to see. We need automation cores. Nice and easy. Can just we're one tile off being able to squeeze this up here. Sad. Also, this can't quite be a yellow. There's some research now. And that should should be everything we need for the first two sciences to make a start. One off this reaching across. Figures. I really love the, uh, the upgrade to the medium poles, but I wish to complement it, they made the wire connections just that little bit longer as well. That would make a pretty big difference to how neat we could do things. Uh, I guess will have to go here. And connect. Maholik and I broke Twitch last night with a simultaneous raid on each other. <laughs> nice. So what happened when you did that? Here come our tech cards. Very, very good. Atreides House, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Green circuits and cogs. Green circuits are way down here. And so are cogs, actually. Let's see. Right about here. Oh, they're not quite next to each other. So I'll steal uh, 
this little design from myself. And that's going to line up like so. Which... So this is cog. And I think it goes here. Yes. And green circuits... Like so. Some red undergrounds. That will do nicely. Everyone just went, um, what? Not at all. Not even a little bit. There we go. And green circuits. If I had nav set, I would move this tree. But, unfortunately, we can't do that yet. I will be able to plant trees later, though. I was thinking of including them in the rail block. They'll pave the world, but also have, like, lots of little parks everywhere. Do we have green circuits? We do. Here they come. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that is green... Science? Question mark? Okay, it's overloading the other two resources first. There we go. Can a yellow keep up with 15 items in 20 seconds? It should be able to, quite easily actually. And that's without the double stack size. Uh, let's get power up here as well. Did we not make greens? I didn't do the output yet. There we go. And blues. I haven't made sulfuric acid, but we can at least build some of this out. Need more... more what? Iron plate, stone brick, and so on. Stone brick. Small electric motors, we're going to run out. Fantastic. Did I add a... no, I didn't. Random extra inserter, that is. Build, build, build. I think that's blue science except for... Okay, we need red circuits and glass, actually. 
So it's it's blue science except for everything but one input. Close enough. How's our power still? Oh, it's excellent. No worries at all. What is this madness? A sushi belt or something? Yes, indeed. It's a splitter controlled sushi. So there's always room for the other resources. And we don't have to count what's on the belt. I should try that one day. I'll show you how to do it. Um, this right here... Well, let me do this real quick. This right here is the basic component. And the rest is just a matter of adding more splitters um, to get a different ratio. So basically, we have... I'm, I'm stretching this out so that it's quite clear what's happening here, but you can put them right next to each other. Um, right here we bottleneck on one belt, or a half belt in this case. Um, and then... this this That right there is why it has to be a loop. Um, we have a splitter, so our half belt becomes a quarter belt. And then the quarter belt that we're not using, we recycle with priority. And that's basically it. And at the end of this, you're going to want to um, bring it back in as well. And if you don't want half of whatever this is, you can get it to be a quarter instead. Um... And then just merge these back in as well. That's basically how it works. Um, so because this has input priority, whatever coming, whatever's coming in here from the main input is going to wait, so that we're not going to over, uh, oversupply this part. G'day Hex, time to dismantle spaghetti research. It seems finished to me. Uh, yeah, it's... We're, we're getting there. We're building proper research now. Um, I don't quite have everything we need just yet. This is going to be wood, which we're going to have to get from way over here. Very cool, thank you for showing. No worries. Actually, wouldn't it be better if I just make one greenhouse? Maybe not. House... 45 wood per... oh, per minute. 0.75 per second. Uh, how many greenhouses is that? It's a few, actually. Um, it is a few. 0.75 per second. It's five greenhouses if I wanted the basic... We, we've already got water right here, so why don't I, instead of belting this all the way from over here? Let's just do four. Oh, the butt got you for making a clip? My bad. A type of tree. Nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can I copy this? There we go. I might have to try a different bot or something to deal with links, potential spam and stuff. Where does this go? Oh, I see. I tried to post it, but good explanation. Thank you. Name in base, Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, name goes above the old spaghetti base. What do you guys think of me moving the names at some point? I think I should probably move them periodically. When we go from one base to another. Raise a K as well. No worries. Uh, do I have stone brick? I actually don't. Let's grab that so we can make our names. Uh, let's see. Raise a K. Rag. Oh, uh. I knew I was going to fail multitasking that. Okay. Who knows if I got one of those tasks correct. Alright. Ragamuffin. Definitely not enough characters for Fraser K. F A F R A S E R K seven. And Fraser K. Oh that's right. I wasn't gonna put text here because we can't really see it properly. Um let's bring this up here. And wildcard. There we go. Lazaric as well. No worries. All the names in base. Old science is stalled again. Maybe I should just take... Yeah, yeah, maybe I should just take the old stuff upstairs instead of bringing anything back down here again. How's my inventory space? Not that bad. Surprisingly not that bad. Wait, do we need copper cable for something else? No, it's more signs. our inventory full. Um, have some stone. And let's get signs going properly. Schnipper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I got the greenhouses. Let's just put those... Uh, where would they comfortably fit, actually? Let's just stretch this as far as it goes. Okay, maybe not that far, but on the other hand, why not? wood and like this and like this and I should probably store it and then we can bring this down here The 
Does that not reach? Oh, it's one up. Nope, nope, we got it. Fantastic. Hope you're fine as well. Thank you. How long to space elevator? Uh, seven minutes. Oxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's our uh, uh, basic tech cards. What mod is it that lets you shift buildings by a couple of tiles? Do you mean like this? I know I'm doing it with a ghost now, but um, the mod is called Picker Dollies. Oh, and we should have... No, we don't have. We're getting military tech card next. And... Don't forget these insiders. Oh, that is luxurious. Okay. So... Biter research data... Military tech card. Oak. Where's our wood? Oh, it's still doing its first recipe. It's almost there, 75%. Uh, I want to get Biolab and Atmospheric Condenser. This is behind some other stuff. Atmospheric Condenser... Advanced Chem. We need Blue Science. Um, I just need to get Sulfuric Acid for the Blue Science, but still, I would like to queue up some stuff. Uh, why don't we just check off these text plates? And welcome to the jungle. Shelter. Sure, why not? Where bots, though? Bots are in space. Looks like it's a very helpful mod. That is an understatement. It's great. Uh, also, there's some synergy with space exploration with the navigation satellite, where it's very, very helpful. Um, might save you a trip or 10,000. Um, I believe this is supposed to be... Electronic components. Actually, you know what? I should use um, underground belts for this part. That belt looks very messy. Um, I happen to not have any regular loaders on me, so I'm just going to be lazy and use it fast. Picker dollies should be in base game. Yeah, it's uh, it's become one of my mandatory quality of life mods. Absolutely. All right. So that should be. Everything but the actual uh, bio uh, bider stuff, which I can put in here until we can manu uh, manufacture it. Why is this not picking? Oh, it doesn't have power, that's why. A dur. And one more power connection. That'll be our coke. Fantastic. I think the only thing left now is uh, sulfuric acid. Oh, I just realized. I think I killed the... Uh, yeah, I deleted the sulfuric acid build that I made yesterday. In the... Uh, uh, in the sandbox. 
we can figure it out again real quick. So it was 2.5 to 1. Uh, to 2, rather. Yeah, 2.5 to 1 or 5 to 2. And the only issue was how... how we shape this bit in the middle to make it nice. Water goes up here. And... Was it direct insertion or... No, I remember the... Uh... Large storage tank. Yeah, 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 like this. I think this is it. The large storage tanks lined up in a nice way that wouldn't happen with the vanilla tanks. Um, so... We could just... Direct insert these and... I, I could do it like that. pretty similar to what I did last time. If I used loaders, I would need, like, two tiles on each side for this. That would save us a pair of inserters. It seems a little overkill. Direct insertion is pretty UPS friendly anyway. Could scoot the outer chem plants down two tiles? Uh, do you mean so we can cram the loaders in, or something else? This is okay, I think. I don't know, I seem to remember being much more pleased with it yesterday. Oh, I don't have any pipe. That's a lot of new stuff. But not really. We can already make the big portable solar panel. Uh, it's two by two. That's one quarter of our... Modular armor. Didn't modular armor used to be five by five? I distinctively remember doing a crisscross of portable solar panels and or batteries in the middle parts. Obi, Rubad, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. Scoot the outer chem plants down two to Oh, the outer ones. Uh, yeah, actually. I, I don't mind that at all, I think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this neater or less neat? The footprint is a bit bigger. Well enough, thank you. That looks nicer. Cool, cool. Looks clean to me. Fantastic. Alright, so we need uh, water and... Petroleum. The rate of petroleum is... Oh, it's only 150. It's actually really slow. I mean, kind of relatively slow. How fast are we using petroleum here, worst case? Uh, 280. I don't think we even need to add pumps. If I, um... If I just siphon off petroleum from here. Speaking of which, I almost forgot this part. Let's get this quartz out of our inventory. Finished all that random research. Oh, it, we don't have this yet either, so not too worried about it. 
still need to feed them iron plates. That is a point. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think I remember setting... Setting these out a couple of tiles, maybe? So that I could bring iron plates in like this. Oh, wait, that's too many. Or not because we have to do this sideways. Hmm. So these two can have direct insert. We could have chests here. And iron plate like this. Or maybe the iron plate comes from the other direction. How do you get the spaceship engine efficiency to show? It's not showing when I launch ship. Spaceship engine efficiency. Uh, are you referring to streamline? Oh, the percentage when it starts moving? It just shows it for a moment. Um, it just does like a text... Uh, like if I pick up this... How can I demonstrate it? Yeah, that text right there, it just shows it like that over the engines for a moment. When the engines start. At least that's how it worked last time I played. With spaceships. Do we have wood here? Yes we do. Fantastic. Um, we've actually still got a bunch of research we can do. I'm not excited about belt immunity. I just can't justify the one space that it takes up. Um, batteries. We can do bulk rail loaders already. Lab research speed. Why not? Lab research go burr. Do we have productivity? I don't think so. We do. But that's mining productivity. But that's still going to help. Let's do that first. I think it's time for coffee. I don't know. Uh, where do I want to put this? I could put it right next to blue circuits. Or I could put it way up here. Do we have, an, uh, do we have a little bit of iron that we're already bringing up here somewhere? I could let the iron through there and just steal it. For the uh, sulfuric acid build. Because it really doesn't require much, iron-wise. Two per second. Uh, that is pretty slow. And we've already got petroleum right here. I think I'm going to do that. Only thing is, this won't line up the way we want it to. Can I steal iron from somewhere else? Not really. I could steal iron from the iron bus. Oh, that's plastic. I mean, iron bus is down here anyway. Uh, I think I think we'll just put this up here. And I'll get rid of... I can't actually remotely change it yet. Get rid of that little filter. Uh... Did I not... Update this? There we go.
Probably just a couple of wooden chests is more than enough here. I need some pipe. I need a lot of pipe. Any good way to deal with massive overflow of Domo Fluid 25 degrees? Asking for a friend. Uh, it's... You, you will need... No matter how well you manage it... Well, okay, especially with rail blocks. Um, you will need a lot of storage space for 25 degree Domo Fluid. And you should make sure that you only actually produce it uh, when it's getting quite low. Um, because it's going to come back. Unless you're recycling thermofluid uh, 25 degree into the colder temperatures on the spot. Uh, which is in some ways easier. In some ways not so much. Oh. Oh. I wish I could reserve some pipe. To not get used in crafting pipe to ground, for example. It's going to be fun making the mall with absolutely no bots and unfamiliar recipes and stuff. I guess that's what we had to do with regular space exploration before. Oh, I've already got some of these. Nice. Alright, so petroleum is going to go up here. Uh, can we... S That's actually super convenient. I am loving these long pipes. Absolutely adore them. And we need some water. We've already got water here, but I have a feeling... Okay, it's only 350 per second, but I have a feeling the uh, water supply is going to get to be a little bit of a problem. I'll have to bring in some more, potentially. Um, let's put these here. Can't reach... And there's our sulfuric acid. So now I just need to pipe it down this way. Um, what's the best way to do this? Probably through here. Oh my goodness, the long pipes. Yes. Yes, please. More of that. That's too good of a fit. And I believe this will be our blue science. Uh, or not, because I haven't done the red circuits and glass, but we've got those on the bus. Also would help if I finished these belts. Red circuits are over here. Do I still have this thing handy? Yes, I do. Always a good feeling in any playthrough. Indeed. I just put the flying robot frames in my research queue. <laughs> nice. Okay. I need more belt. This is fine. And what are we doing? Glass. Glass is way down here. It's kind of weird if we don't zoom in on it. tile and 
and this one. So here. That'll do, I guess. Come to think of it, can we put it here? Just so that it lines up with this one. I guess this part's going to look messy if we do that. Rip. I should really go pick up some yellow belt. Oh well. Oh wait, this is glass? No, no, that is not glass. You absolute duck. Long pipes pog, yes indeed. The easy fix to that thermofluid problem is just to limit production to a fraction of a tank. Yeah. I had it limited to like 1,000 out of 25,000 uh, for each tank or something like that. In practice, less than that. Lazy bastard achievements today. And there's our glass. And there's our blue tech cards. Yes. Fantastic. We did it, chat. Can I make these condensers yet? Atmospheric condenser. Atmo... I don't think so. Yeah, it needs blue. Let's do that. El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, I should finish uh, as many prod uh, productivity bonus researches as I can. And we can get electric mining drill mark too. That's nice. The sooner we get that, the longer our resources last before we have to move on. I'm surprised uh, rare metals haven't been touched yet. I think in... I, I didn't get too far in the Crastorio 2 game a long time ago, but I think it was actually relatively early that we tapped those. Where's my car? I actually need the car to get around the main bus base now. Look at the size of it already. Just because the monitor is... Uh, stretched that way, I'm begrudgingly growing a bit of a fondness for left to right, or right to left even, like horizontal main bus. I know. It's sin. I'm sure someone will tell me. But why don't we have two stacks of each inserter? Look at the size of it. What? Uh, where are we going? We got reds, reds, red. Let's get some splitters. Underneath these. Makes a lot of sense given how the game is displayed. Yeah. It really does. Okay, 
I too prefer horizontal bus, but then again, I have an ultra wide monitor, indeed. Yeah, but even the even the common aspect ratio these days is very. It's a lot wider than it used to be. Let's drag this out. From what I remember how rare metals go, you need a little bit of it after the oil phase. And then the next phase you need tons of it. The tool belt and other stats down the bottom limit vision. Uh, I think you can toggle them, but yeah. I hardly use this. I mean, I've got a few hotkeys right here, but other than that... I use this a lot less since the uh, pipette tool was added. Probably didn't pick up enough yellow belt for this. Robot soon? Probably not. What's your pick a dollies shortcut? Uh, well, I've got default keys for moving things around like this. So hold shift and press the cursor keys. And then for long combinators, I'll use this so I don't add one stack to my inventory. Uh, I changed it to the numpad full stop button. Shift arrow keys feels bothersome. I mean, it's not like I need to do it while I run around or something. Not really. Alright, mining productivity is churning along very slowly, actually. 60 seconds per card. So we should be gaining cards in our storage rate. We've actually got quite a lot already. Even blues are already backing up. I guess, yeah, I shouldn't be surprised with what I just said. Oh, we don't even have uh, some of those inserters. Let's check our products finished count. There we go. It's working. Alright, so what should we do next? Um, probably rush certain researchers so we can clear out as many biters as possible before they evolve significantly. Um, how far can I go with... Let me look at it here. So I, I, I think the game will continue, well, won't pause while I look at research this way. Uh, power armor? We need rocket tech for regular power armor. Uh, is modular armor the best we can do before that? It is. The 4x4 grid is a little bit sad. But not that we need that much just yet. Personal laser defense is behind power armor. What about shields? Um, energy shield is higher tech and way more power hungry than what is it called? Adaptive armor? We only. Oh, we already. Oh, wait, wait. No, we didn't already research this. Adapt. 
protective armor. It only needs blue. We need batteries. Uh, let's let's do research speed first, since the labs are falling behind. What does this require? Laser. Okay. And then that's the limit of what we can do with blue science for lab speed. Or just add more labs? Yeah, I might. I don't want to go over the top where we're bottlenecked on the resources themselves. I want it to be a lot more consistent than I usually, uh, usually get. Okay. Uh, partly because... It's more important with a rail block system. Um, but I really want to try and have a bit more... Oh, they haven't attacked here for ages. So they do attack from beyond the pollution cloud, but not that far beyond the pollution cloud. Uh, I guess we should get ahead of things and do a battery build. They're fairly straightforward, usually. Battery. Uh, it looks like it's still exactly the same, unless the sulfuric acid count has changed. Uh, so the only question is, where do we want it? And I think the answer is here, especially since it uses sulfuric acid. So that was pretty easy, actually. So we just need iron plus copper. Um, I want to leave room to go fast. But not that fast. It's only four and four per second. 80 sulfuric acid. How much... How much is this? 100 per second. And this uses 15, so that's actually pretty reasonable. Um, the only question is the layout. I think we'll leave room for basic beacon in the middle. Therefore, pipes on the outside. I would love to just attach to this, but where is the input belt going to go in that case? Um, but because these are not assembly machines, the pipe connections are nice and snug together. We can do... Like this. Fantastic. I'll leave a little bit of room there in case I want a robot or something one day. And... We end up using a lot of batteries, right? Sometimes, all at once. Signal transmitter accumulator is five. Personal batteries, not so bad. Efficiency module two wants batteries. Energy absorber. Five megajoules. Oh, this is for, like, taking power from the grid. And it's not as space-hungry as a typical, like, fusion reactor or something, right? Laser turret wants 12. Personal roboport wants 45. 
Personal submachine gun laser defense. Okay, uh, I've seen enough. Um, we're gonna say that yes, the uh, the consumption of batteries can be pretty thirsty. Uh, so we've got room for it here. Why don't we do? Hell, why don't we do a big warehouse? Five hundred and twelve. It's only double the four by. Five twelve stacks is a lot, though. That's more than a cargo rocket. I think this is sufficiently overkill. And uh, output. How fast is this? Very slow. Red belts. Oh, how fast could this be? I know these are unpowered, don't worry about it. Four per second? That's nothing. Even if we uh, buff the crap out of it, it's not going to go beyond 15 per second. Okay. Uh, seems good to me. And iron and copper up this way. Actually, yeah, we're only going to need one belt. Even if we tripled this with speed buffs, uh, one belt would be sufficient. For the input. Okay. Okay. Let's paste this down here. Overkill, I don't know the meaning of that word. There is no overkill, but there is open fire and I need to reload. In factorio terms, that would be the input has run out or there is no power or something. Storehouse. Uh, chemical plants. Oh, I don't have the battery recipe yet. Maybe leave space for second battery build? Um, I could literally just stretch it up. Because... Uh... That's still only 8 per second. So if we give it beacons, if we give it Blue belts, red belts. It, it's fine. Alright, um... Did that just change? Yeah, it did. Oh, I see what I did there. Let's go pick up loaders that I forgot to load up on. Um... Nobody saw that. One stack of loaders, please. I've already got a stack of fast loaders. Uh, a few yellow belts. This is fine. And... What have we got? Two stacks of these. One stack of those. A few stacks of regular belt. Each type. Seems good. Oh, and what's this? I haven't researched it yet though, have I? Express... Logistic 3. It does indeed require space. Rip. How soon can we get substations? 
uh, pretty much immediately. Let's mark that off so we can get to automating them. I guess the recipe isn't going to appear after we unlock the research. Oh, that's right. I queued, I, I made an electro, electrolysis plant that we're not going to end up using. Rip. How much of this have I researched? None of it. Atmospheric condenser. Yeah, we're still... This is 300, this is 800. That's going to take a little while. How's our surplus looking? Okay, red and green are way ahead, and blue is pretty far ahead as well. What's our current rate of consumption? 16 per minute, and we can do 90. I dare say we can afford to expand this a little bit. Um, I would like a multiple of two if I can. So I need another eight. That actually works, but not long. Actually, no, that works. I don't need to change the belt. Why is that? Oh. No? Oh, this one. Okay. Picker dollies is a good mod. I won't say it's unfortunate that it doesn't let you cheat with the wire distances. <laughs> that over. would have extended it further, but we're going to encroach on our battery build, um, and also it's probably a bit more than we need. Is that everything? Almost. percent more awesome. You can always extend it up, I guess. Oh, uh, blue needs to go over here now. There we go. Nice. Now, where did I store all of that, uh, how you say, Zerg creep? Here's some of it. And where did I put the rest, I wonder? Random chests. Oh, here's some. 1,000. You could daisy chain labs too. Yeah, there is a limit to that, though. It gets a bit messy as well. Uh, there we go. Is there any more around here? Well, we're at it. I don't think so. 
There's probably a bunch back at the spaghetti base somewhere. Oh, or... Yeah, there's 4,000 in the shelter. After all this time, we're still doing semi-automatic science. SMH. It's fine. Whoops. It's not what I meant to do. There's our military science in action. Let's go get that 4K. Actually, oh, why do I have red... Oh, 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 oh. I have a lot of tech cards. Hopefully I can drop these off before the chest is full. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Your copper belt is almost empty. Uh, this is true. We didn't tap the copper mine that aggressively yet. So we can fix that. Maybe after electric mining drill 2 is done? We need rare metals. I've got a handful lying around somewhere, but I'm not going to rely on that. Um, let's handcraft ourselves. Why do I have two burner lamps? Let's handcraft ourselves a bunch of electric mining drills. And go pick up that uh, Zug Creek. Don't want to handcraft small electric. What do I need now? Uh, probably stone brick or iron. So how much is this? Uh, lots. Many lots. doop a -doop. Is the electric mining drill a different size or shape? I don't think it is. The, the tier 2, that is. Uh, I need to... I need some ore on the ground to check this. And then entities. Oh, let's jump out of... Let's go back to none mode. Electric mining drill mark two. Yeah, it's just a straight upgrade from this. Cool. Oh, uh, it's got a bigger radius though, even though it takes up the same space. That's that's luxurious. Big mining drill is even more better. Okay. Only bigger field, indeed. Still got science in inventory. Oh yeah, I fixed that. Iron ore is going to be the problem. We shall see. Uh, while that's still handcrafting, I'll pick up the biomatter. Actually carry all of it at once. Very good. Back we go. Through the main bus once again. Where was I going? Oh yeah. That should last at least seven minutes. Considering we consume uh, 
1.35k per hour, and we've got 5k. It's literally going to last hours. That's good. What did I just... Uh, nothing. Never mind. Hi, anything that's better with SE and K2? Um, the long pipes are glorious. With K2. There's some late game stuff that I'm looking forward to. Like the big roboports. Also, roboports can be configured to be... Uh... The vanilla-ish would be hybrid or balanced mode or something. Um, but you can have them exclusively construction or logistic uh, with more range. That's going to be handy. I also noticed some mini... This is stone. This is not copper. Where is copper? There it is. The medium poles are better. Yeah, they reach a little bit further with the supply area. Um, quite a lot of these drills are dead already. I'm not that worried about copper because there's lots of copper mines around the place. Iron is a little bit scarier. It's actually covered. Fantastic. Let's grab our blueprint. Something like this. Should probably do a... No, it's fine. This is already... no, it's not. Should probably just use red there. Sure we'll want to upgrade to it eventually. should probably just merge in here since it's such a small amount. Probably don't need all those drills. Some of them are going to run out in like 10 seconds. But whatever. As long as we can get everything covered so that we don't have to come back here for a long time. Squeak through would be nice. Jetpack would be nice. When do we get a jetpack? Oh, hello. Uh, it's already in reach. I don't want to change what I've got queued up, though. Some of these are rotated, I get it.
Adf, Adf, Adf. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Price increased. That's unfortunate. One has no power. One has no power. Uh, th that is the one over there. And it is needed. Alright. That's our copper mine. We've only got 15 copper per second coming in. Even before we upgrade our smelters, they can do 40. Let's do something about that. How much belt is this? Uh, so this is about 100. 2, 3, 4, 5 or 600. We're going to have to make another trip. Uh, I'll make it a couple of bread belts. What's our max rate from here? It's going to diminish, but it's 40, so... Actually, a yellow and a red is going to be enough. I don't think I want to do it that way, though. I would rather it's balanced. I did leave room for another belt up here, I think. Yep, there it is. Um, so what am I looking for? Red belt. I'll grab like five stacks just to be sure. Make it a little bit more, why not? Oh! Sorry young man, I didn't see you there. So red belt. I forgot I already got to the corner. Whoops. This way. And this way. This way. Autosave has me confused about whether that got placed. That is a chest that I probably almost destroyed. Whoops. Health 34 out of 100. Whoops. Okay. Uh, red splitter. Um, let's do an upgrade planner. So that I can see exactly what isn't red yet. After your noon tea, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, was that yellow? Where did I? Where did I pipette yellow just now? Or was it over here? Okay, so we're going to have as much as 
We're going to call it two red belts splitting into four yellows, so I think this will be fine. And we need to run this belt back. Luckily, the, uh, the belt helper thing works backward as well. Although, I guess I didn't have to turn the car and drive backwards just now as well. And I did it again. Let's go forward this time. Fantastic. Alright, now some of these belts might benefit from being red. Actually, not at all. The longest one only gives us 14.5 per second. Uh, that last bit of... Well, when we get more mining productivity, it might tip it over the edge. Maybe. Probably only the one in the middle. But I would rather make it a bit overkill here and not have to come back for it later. forever. And... I felt... Well, this is clearly enough with the yellow belt here. Get out of my inventory. Thank you. Okay, uh, that'll probably resolve our copper issues, I imagine. So we're getting 40 copper becomes 30 per second late. Uh, I think we're actually getting about 40 copper from this. Until some of those drills run out, which is not taking long at all. But it should be enough to satisfy this base. Let's double check that uh, research is happening. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Oh. Research is going well. No copper shortages here. I don't think. Wait, what's the other input to this? Uh, glass. We're not bottlenecked on glass, are we? Wait a minute. The glass input... Oh, I think we can fix this by upgrading these belts. Possibly. And it may be the case that we should make these yellow inserters blue, just so that they can pick off a fast belt easily. Alright, yep, that's got them all working. 
I love how the bus descends into darkness. What do you mean by that? Also, it hasn't been anywhere near as noticeable as it might be, but I'm really, really liking the uh, lighted power pole. Oh, we've got this now. I'm liking the lighted power pole mod. I don't like having to put lamps everywhere. But I can just take for granted that this will be lit up at night. Uh, over here? What was this supposed to be? It's a mystery. Uh, let's see. No, we got big poles. Sorted out. Substations? We don't have substations. Why was this just revealed? Or did I miss it earlier? Green circuits are not coming through. That's not too surprising. Um, since we had a copper shortage. I could probably... I was going to say I could stand to upgrade the machines, but no. My bottleneck on copper. And that's fine for the moment. Lighted poles? Yeah. Uh, you just smash a power pole and a lamp or ten together. And the power poles become a light source and draw a little bit of power. Only at night, of course. Our copper's going to settle down once we back up on red circuits as well. Um, maybe I'm being a bit too greedy lining up. No, no, no. Let's... Definitely get prod 2 done. We're going to be stuck with it for a while, so I want... I want mines to run out as slowly as possible. Besides, we've got... Only one iron mine. 367k. This is 4 mil, but it's kind of far away. Uh, this is 8.4 million. And it's easier to get at. I think that's what we'll go for. I was hoping... Oh, we still haven't researched battery? This stuff doesn't really matter. Let's do battery first. And I want to get adaptive armor. We don't get another tier of adaptive armor until we have rocket tech card, but that's fine. How do we power adaptive armor? with solar panels. Um, can we get those wireless transmission of power into equipment grids? That is higher technology as well. Portable generator? Does it burn coal or something? I think it does. Is it possible to use the non-inserter thingies to get things out of trains? Do you mean loaders? Uh, yes. I don't know if the Crastorio loaders do it, but definitely some flavor of loaders will take things directly from trains. Should I load up a bunch of military stuff and go out before we get the shields. Batter battery advanced circuit steel plate. We can craft a few of these the moment that we get uh, this research finished. I'm thinking one big, one big portable solar panel. Can I handcraft solar panels? Yeah, let's get some silicon. Oh, I was going to squeeze solar panel production in here, maybe. Just to get it going. What do we got? Green circuit, glass, silicon, steel. Uh, we got silicon and glass right here. Green circuit and steel is another story. So, no. 
not going to worry about that just yet. Or at least we're going to figure out a different place to put it. That just happens to be green circuit and steel. I could steal silicon and glass from over here, perhaps? Otherwise glass would have to go... find its way up that way. Hmm. Hmm. This is a this is a little spaghetti, but that's okay. So that's silicon and glass, and steel and electronic circuit is already on that other belt. One shot. Unfought. Oh my goodness. Uh, lol, Lolilo, sorry. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. 25, another 10. Thank you very, very much. Nyron Wolf, Sugan, Nias. Uh, Nia Traps, I am Suck, Golksy, Akintok, Yaman, Tinoz, Darkrail, Devi uh, Davine, hope you like. Thank you very, very much, uh, Lilio, much appreciated. Very, very much appreciated, thank you. Isn't Nyron Wolf a Factorio streamer? Yes, he is. Nyron Wolf do be streaming Factorio from time to time. You're welcome, mate. Keep up the good work. Thank you. It means a lot. Uh, Alright, so we got... I can turn this into not getting rid of the steel. And then we can just put solar panels here. Uh, I'm kind of trying to find an excuse not to add another power pole, but it's it's a bit over the top, honestly. Solar panel and steel. Green circuit. This goes here. And I do need another power pole anyway. So why don't I put this here where it'll be a bit more clear. And I do want to accumulate a lot of solar panels, although I don't want to pour all of my resources into it too, too quickly. So this works, I think. 10 seconds, 25 items on this side. Uh, probably should be a fast inserter. 5 and 15. Oh, I misread it. 20 and 15 every 10 seconds. Stack size 2. I think the yellow inserters can keep up. By the way, I kind of need some guidance for SE. I finally got into space, and I have materials in space to do some stuff, but not enough. My question is, how do you get fluids into space? Uh, you're either you're basically either stuck with barrels or ice. Barrels for now, yeah. Ice and coal will let you do coal liquefaction. That is probably, probably the most stack efficient way to do it. Um, although I haven't been that far with K2, obviously. Yeah. 
Nichols Tech. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Artie as well. Um, so what are we doing now? I was wanting to gear up to attack the Biders. Gentet, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Playing regular SE, not with Crest. Uh, I haven't played SE with point six before this playthrough, so something, some of my information might be out of date. Uh, so there's that grain of salt, but probably coal and ice is by far the most stack efficient way you can go about it and do some, uh, do some coal liquefaction if you don't mind losing the productivity bonus. Okay, thanks for the stream. Whiskers, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Made me think it was late for a second there. Um, alright, so we are, what, two or three hundred, maybe five or six hundred science off what I would like to have. And we're only doing 20 per minute. Uh, we're half an hour away from that research being done. So in that case, let's go with our usual turret creep. Oh, I almost forgot why I was making the solar panels. I do want to make a big portable solar panel before I go. Not that I'll have the batteries... Um, what the? Not that I'll have the batteries to use it with, but... So four solar panels. How many do we have already? Fourteen. That's a pretty good start. I'll probably go... Big portable, uh, one shield, jetpack, and I guess we're not using robopods yet. There wouldn't be any room for batteries. I would have to swap some things in and out. Okay, um, how much, where's our ammo? We got, we got lots of ammo. Let's go get some. We got lots of turrets. We got not enough repair packs. And we don't have a comfortable amount of healing. Uh, I need raw fish for that. I, I will be needing iron. Is it bonking time? Uh, apparently. I could make armor piercing, but I don't think it's needed just yet. Unless we go out there and suddenly find bigger biters. I could make some uh, wind turbines while we're out there to support some sentinels. And what was I doing? Fish. Uh, healing as well. And repair packs. Need stone. Another hundred repair packs seems good. And some windmills. Iron beam. And iron gear wheel. Iron beam. What are we missing? Probably iron plate. Oh. So let's bring a lot of ammo. 
and I do mean a lot of ammo. Uh, Waghead, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And where should we go? I think probably here, because we want that iron. Like, that'll be the first thing that we need with any urgency outside of the walls. I'm curious as to... Crude oil 4.4 mil. I'm going to add a tag, because this is finite. I've never dealt with that before. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? One day, two hours, 35 minutes. That's longer than I thought. Okay, so we've got 4.4 mil reported here at this time. So we can get a feel for how quickly we're running out of it over time. I guess I could also look at the production fluids, consumption, all time. 1.4 mil already? Uh, so we're basically like a fifth of the way to depleting that, apparently. That's kind of scary. That's very scary, actually. Any old iron? But we want the the rich iron. Oh. Okay. Uh considering as far as I could tell they hadn't been attacking. I was surprised we ran into the biters this quickly. Kills. Yeah, we've been killing them consistently. I wonder how we got to the point where we don't take damage without new technology. Does the oil deplete due to K2? Yes, as opposed to SE. Cupid Stunt. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finite oil, how very exciting, just like real life. Yeah... Okay. Uh, I would pick this up, but whoops, I forgot how much it slows us down. I would pick this up, but inventory is way too full for that for the moment. Besides, we've got literal hours of Zerg creep before we run out. We've got Rampant, but no Biter expansion. They're going to get rather scary sooner or later. So whenever we can clear out nests before they evolve, uh, we should do it. That was brutal, yeah. Even distribution makes turret creep a bit stronger, to say the least. It's not that much weaker to just use hotkeys in vanilla. If you're quick. 
Is this the end of... Yes, it is. What? How big is the... Uh... How big are the chunks? I was thinking of putting a little sentinel here, but it's not going to see far enough. Can I squeeze through there? Surprisingly, yes. And this is actually the edge of here. Kind of surprised. Oh, I need fish. I forgot. And my inventory's full. Let's throw some of this crap in here. That's not a fish. You can get fish to stop moving if you mark them for deconstruction. Can I... I can't get over there. But I can just barely reach those ones. Alright, that should be enough to make 65 medkits. Okay. Or rather, first aid kits. Not quite the same thing. Smart fishing, indeed. How far does this go? Uh, it's not that dense. Let's try and squeeze through here. I'm really looking forward to having a shield on the car. Once we get uh, adaptive armor, we should be able to do that. Oh. Oh. Catch me in an awkward spot. Clever girl. So does that mean there's a nest nearby? Probably. That was just the car getting damaged. That's radiation damage. That's the end of the road, I think. He left some turrets up there? Uh, so I did. I might go back and get them in a bit. Can't really squeeze the car through all of this with any degree of grace. Whoops. Speaking of which, there's a nest. That is a nest and a half. It's going to be a little scary even without cheese. We'll start from down here where there's this bit jutting out. It's the most poorly defended. some big worms. Okay, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Veldek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And research complete. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to need to push forward with relative alacrity. Because they're going to keep attacking, I think. There's also another one down to the south, it looks like. Doing a dance. 
do the turret dance. Actually, yeah, now, now they're not attacking because I got rid of those. Take that, you filthy rocks, indeed. The sound of the good old turret creep as background noise, indeed. Yeah, even distribution also limits how much ammo you put in each turret to whatever number you decide. So it's very easy to not just run out of ammo as we do that. Um, I might have to come back and pick some of these up because I picked up stone or something. Okay. This should be fine. That one's getting a bit damaged, but not enough. Done. Good job, turrets. Make landfill from stone while running around. That might not be the worst idea. I'm still handcrafting uh, first aid kits. Actually, uh, landfill. Do we even have? We don't have landfill researched. Maybe I should use sleeping friend. Oh, oh, oh. Tarts are there now. And more research is done. That might be the edge of the continent as well. Enable auto trash for stone. That's a good point. Uh, stone. Zero. There it goes. I'm not used to being able to do that. Uh, didn't it used to take research? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it used to take some research to be able to do that without a mod. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Living to die as well. Uh oh, there's another nest there. You usually need Logibot research for trash slots. Yeah, there you go. And we're 72% on 
We're not going to be able to handcraft it while we're out here. No doubt by the time we get back. I think even if I hurried back right now, adaptive armor would be finished. Maybe I should get it so I can put it on the car. It's not that far to drive back either. And I could squeeze through the trees without uh, worrying about scratch damage. Fantastic. We gotta keep queuing things up because we can make research faster than we can spend it. Um, military three. Maybe. Uh, what's our priority right now? What military stuff can we get with just blue? We could get a tank. Uh, considering... Does it tell us here the equipment grid size? Which mod was it that added... I, I didn't do the vehicle equipment grid mod, but I think K2 maybe added a small equipment grid to the car. Uh, if it adds it to the tank, then all the more reason I might actually use the tank. Tank is 6 by 11. Okay. Does it say here? Oh, there it is. 6 by 11. Fantastic. So we could at least have some shields. Do we have those, uh... Engine thingies? Advanced electronic engine... Did we already unlock this? The little engine that we can put in the equipment grid? I don't see it. What is it called? Uh, let's see. Engine. Additional electric engine. Uh, and it is in equipment and combat, so no. Ah! Oh my... Oh my goodness. Okay. That... That could have been bad. Did we just lose a turret? That was fast. Yikes. Oof. Okay. Do not underestimate those little guys. Not even once. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, apparently overconfidence is spending two seconds looking at the uh Oops. You know what? We're getting the we're getting the armor. Oh, I was investigating whether we should research the tank. I need military three for that anyway. And that's all. Oh, jetpack. I want jetpack first. Yes. Okay, jetpack, military three, tank. And then we'll put jetpacks on our tank. They're equal... that's cute and bitey. Indeed. Oops. So when do we get, uh... When do we get to speed up the car? Jetpack plus combat shotgun is amazing. Jetpack plus anything is pretty amazing. Especially rocket launcher with the range at the tech level that you're able to get it. Although that might be a bit of a different story with K2. I'm not sure. 
I want to see a flying tank. <laughs> Especially the KS2, uh, Crestoria 2 advanced tank. At the rate we're going, the tank might be researched by the time we, uh, get ourselves comfortable here. Okay, um... That's a bit much. Now what did we come back for? Personal adaptive armor. We need batteries. I haven't actually finished the battery build. Do iron and copper somewhere else. Here it is. Oh, that was kind of different and awkward though. Never mind. Um, red belt. Like so. I can't. Never mind. Wasn't I on the map screen? But yeah, it places it like normal and then I can't pick it up. It's kind of weird. you say. Should probably do it like this. Come to think of it, if there's any use case where we don't need red at first, it's this one, but whatever. over here. Fantastic. Uh, let's get the rest of our pipes done. And run out of belt. No, we didn't. What? Did I mess that up? Yeah, it was undergrounds. Alright, there's our sulfuric acid to the end. And that should be it. Batteries go burr. We only need uh, five for each adaptive armor. And there's our jetpack as well. So the question is, how many jetpacks do we want to use? Jetpack doesn't require power still, right? Energy capacity, zero joules. And I don't actually... Oh, adaptive armor, derp. How many hit points is this? 25. What's my regular hit points? Good question. And what fuel does it use? Uh, probably not wood, I imagine. So let's go get some processed fuel. 
Did I not make more of these? I need steel. Let's make at least four so that I can swap them in and do maximum jetpack when I feel like it. Bring two jetpacks, useless otherwise? I wouldn't quite say that. Uh, how quickly does our shield charge? Pretty quickly. So let's see. Energy... 20 kilojoules per hit point. Uh, 192 kilowatts during the day. This only consumes... 25 maximum. O okay. But I don't think I can fit more by using smaller solar panels. Not with the 4x4. Where's our fuel? There it is. Let's grab a stack or two of that. And jetpacks away. Oh, that feels so no Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, please. Please and thank you. Uh, that might be better than the car. Except we can put shields on the car. Except I have shields, but not when I jetpack. Uh, yeah. Matrim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should I wait for the tank? Nah, where's our car? Let's zoom over to it effortlessly. And power armor grid. We can't give it the shields. No. What can we put in here? We can't put any kind of shields in the car. That's like the one thing that I wanted to put in the car, so that it wouldn't take damage from bumping a tree or something. Wait, wait, no, I'm looking at the big solar panel. Um, okay, so adaptive armor can't be put in a, in a car. Uh, please tell me that energy shields... I mean, by the time we have energy shields, we're not going to care about a car. Uh, sad. Shield. Generator. Shield generator can be put in a car. Interesting. What about the top tier shield? It doesn't go in a car. So... When do we get shields? Probably not for ages? That requires energy science. We're not going to be using a car when we have energy science. Are you kidding? That's just rude. But is it better than a tank? Uh, can this go... This can go in a tank. Can this go in a tank? It cannot. Well... I'm not building... I, I'm not making a tank. Luckily, we do need to research tank at some point, but what a letdown. Oh, I still have no media defense. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it for the moment. Installation requires rocket tech card. We don't have to get into space first. If you hover the car tooltip, you see all the equipment. Car tooltip. Car tooltip. Revan, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, there it is. You can put lasers in it. What a disaster. I might just fly around instead. Okay. Uh, I think we'll find that we can fly much, much, much faster and easier than driving the car now. 
And fuel consumption is not that bad. The game just changed significantly. Oh, jetpack. I didn't remember the, uh, the, the Mark I jetpack being this strong. It's very fast. We could circumnavigate the world with this already. No trees? Yeah. They put personal energy shields way too far down the tech tree. That's true of a lot of things. Especially quality of life stuff. Alright, um, unless something is different, we can be knocked out of the sky, so let's be careful about that. Just making turret creep. I, I don't think turret creep is the word for this anymore, but it's making it a lot more effective. Tank finished, who cares? Not me. How dare you. What are we researching? Uh, I guess we'll knock off lab speed. If we don't have something to focus on right now. Turret bombing? <laughs> yeah. Can we make more of these? Yes, we can. That fishy got hurt. Poor fishy. Alright, let's make sure we've got this continent sorted out, or this part of it. That's... that's not sorted out. Not even a little bit. Oh, careful. Spiraling inward. And I'm in your base. Fantastic. Still got a lot of turrets and ammo. I think I'll I'll repair the most damaged one here. And then I'll head over this way. Stop it at the source. I think we could clear Nalvis with this tech level in a relatively short time. Uh, since the biters are the biters are very much behind our capabilities right now. Dude, that looks OP. <laughs> yeah, it does. It would take a little while. I mean, the planet is. Uh, Probably 5,000 something radius, based on the last game. I'm sure there's not that much variance for the size of Nalvis. Oop -a -doop. When you're halfway done with Nalvis, you have to deal with behemoths. Well, that's the thing. Um, my supposition is if we go fast enough killing them now, we might even not see behemoths. But that would be a lot of... Okay, considering how long it took to get Spidertrons in the last playthrough, and it's only going to be worse, if anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, four kinds of space science, although they're only tier one. And I'm not half as scared of bioscience this time. Um, but yeah, uh, I think... We're not going to be. We're not going to have our Spidertron armies to clear Nalvis, so 
so we're going to have to do a lot of manual clearing. Weapon delivery cannon is just as far, if not further, away. You don't even get me started on energy beaming. I'm sure that's uh, tier 3 or 4 energy science or something. Astro 3, energy 3, material 3. Yeah, that is something that actually should be late game. But, um... Suffice to say, whatever method we choose for clearing Nalvis, uh, unless we leave biters on it for most of the playthrough, uh, we're going to have to be doing our dirty work somewhat directly. So why not, considering that expansion is turned off, uh, and the biters are only going to get way more dangerous. Um, we should probably do as much as possible at this tech level. I've also got a lot to research before I have to add anything to our builds. That's another incentive to focus on the biters for now. How long till your CME? Uh, good question. Energy beams? 21 hours. That is a lot of time. We'll have a steam battery up by then very, very easily since we know what we're doing. Inventory is looking a bit full now. So this whole area doesn't need to be defended. Um, probably just something like this, if not better. We can get a relatively small bottleneck to secure this whole place. That's fantastic. I'm tempted to put a fluid bus into space between the train tracks. Interesting. I did a fluid bus... Uh, with the first or second build in orbit with the last playthrough. It got a bit messy is not quite the right word. It took up a, it, it took more than expected, let's put it that way. Driving around Nalvis with an artillery train is also an option. Yeah, you have to defend it, though. Just got to fill the train with... Oh, yeah, 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 we can put defenses in the train. Uh, let's see. Well, we can't put adaptive armor in it. Which means we can't put shields on it until way late game. As far as we're concerned. These worms are so weak. Yeah, at the moment they are. This isn't that different from the last playthrough when we first got the jetpack. And again, even distribution certainly helps with the turret spam. It doesn't even look like they leave any spit on the ground. Uh, I wonder if that's combat mechanics overhaul. Because I think, yeah, 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 the OP spit, uh, I think they did leave that on the ground with Rampant when I did the, uh, uh, the Death World. I... And when you fly over the spit, it actually hurts you and drops you out of the air. 
So suffice to say, I would not be getting away with this. Did we lose the turret? I don't see any dead ones. Surprisingly enough. Oh. Oh, I can even do a flyby. <laughs> flyby turret creep. Makes it a bit hard to get the ammo in, though. We definitely lost a turret there. Got flanked. How many more do I have? Uh, quite a lot. Let's keep going. Uh, let's heal up first. And why do I... Wait, what? I think I just tried to activate my jetpack too quickly. It made me think I'd run out of fuel. I would not like to have to walk back, thank you very much. We're actually down almost one stack out of the two that I brought. Yeah, you can't... Oh, that's right. I remember now. Halfway through my last playthrough, they made it so that you couldn't toggle jetpack very often. And it made me very sad. I wish they could find a way to not make it reset fighter aggro and stuff instead of uh, messing up what you're able to do movement wise. It is getting a bit more difficult, dangerous, and time-consuming to clear a base this way. You can still toggle jetpack to reset the rifle cooldown between shots. Oh no. We are losing turrets doing this as well. But uh, it's definitely advantageous in the long run. Everyone hates rocks. Fighters, turrets, everyone. Yellow ammo should switch to red? Yeah, maybe. Uh-oh. Also, gun turrets don't have that many hit points to begin with. A lot less than laser turrets, unless the mud changed it. I think we've well and truly established that this is going to be the best bottleneck, though, to secure that iron. Uh, it's going to give us a ton of space to start doing a uh, rail block base as well. Which we should already have... Yeah, yeah, we've had... Technically, we've had what we need to start that for a long time now. Uh, 
unless they massively lost nerfed landmines. I've never played much with landmines. I know speedrunners use them. I guess I could just fly over the uh, the biter nests and drop a, a line of landmines on them. The biters will knock me out of the sky, but if I have momentum, um, I'll keep moving a little bit and probably not have much trouble escaping. Just remember to keep UPS in touch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I've got loaders, big containers, uh, bulk rail loader, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff in mind as well that I'm going to try. I won't need nearly, e despite the massive nerf to stack sizes for certain things, um, I'm not going to need nearly as many spaceships this time as well. Because I'm going to be exploiting Foenestra, the fact that it is equidistant from every solar system. Uh, and it's only 10,000 distance away. Research is finished. Um, how about... Oh, we wanted atmospheric condensation, didn't we? And this thing. We could have had core mining already, technically. Um, and let's knock off substations. And although we don't have the power to support them, we could do laser turrets. Two, oh, they only consume two megawatt. But minimum consumption is... That's interesting. Max consumption is massively... It is like half what it used to be, but minimum consumption is like four times as much. Well, that just further incentivizes my power saver build for laser, uh, laser walls, which is going to eat into UPS, but we're only going to need it for a while. The laser turrets suck early on. Yeah, yeah, they use too much power. And they super prioritize so they can actually shut off your entire base. But yeah, um, you can't directly detect when biters are there, but you can detect when ammo is being consumed by an inserter replacing the ammo. You can read from an accumulator that is a store of ammo for a laser turret. You can tell when oil is being consumed by a flamethrower turret. Throw that together with a latch and some power switches. And most of... You know what I should do at this time, actually? Um, what I had before was little isolated... Uh, oh, that reaches further, I think. Anyway, uh, little isolated um, solar-powered laser turrets. And then once those... Once that accumulator gets low enough, power switches on and... All of its neighbors get powered up. But now that I've learned a few things with uh, circuitry, I mean more so, uh, I think I would be very confident in making the flamethrower turret or the consumption of ammo by the flamethrower turret to be uh, the trigger to power up a bunch of turrets. Wait, what was that? Where you pasted the build? You mean this? The uh, editor extensions sandbox area? Or the build itself? Or both? What is this mod called? Editor extensions. 
Oh no, T Hex has entered big brain mode. Uh, yeah, editor extensions, and then go to mod settings per player, and you want to set testing lab to, I, I guess personal or force probably works. And I think if you don't want to cheat, you want to turn this off as well. Sync inventory and cursor between play modes. And that way you can have a lab that you can just switch to whenever you want. Are those biters? I mean, they are on the map, but I think they're ghosts. I see, I see. Indeed. The lab has to be enabled, yeah. I should probably explore the rest of the pollution cloud, and I should definitely get more processed fuel. No more needing a separate world for designs, yeah. Although I do recommend... Like, I've got a separate save for some designs, like uh, the prototype I'm building to have a dispatch system for spaceships from Foenestra. <laughs> Research go brr. Nice jetpack, yes indeed. It is very I, I am extremely pleased. I don't know if I forgot or if K2 just gives it to you more powerfully. Um but just four basic jetpacks give you a lot of speed. I think it probably does it say what our acceleration is? No, I think there's a mod setting that I have to... Um, jetpack. Per player. No. I remember in the last playthrough it would tell me how much acceleration I have with the jetpack whenever I take off with it. But I want to say this... I want to say it's not just... The fact that I was on lower UPS before. I would have tons of jetpacks and it didn't feel one tenth like this. Those spitters are bigger and meaner. Let's, the worms here, let's get them. Those are some kind of elemental worms. Usually it tells you the acceleration the first time you jetpack after changing your equipment. Okay. 115. 153. Is there some kind of mass calculation? I don't think so. My inventory is pretty full. Where are those biters coming from? Oh. No idea what those numbers mean, though. Uh, well, number go up means you have more acceleration. Diminishing returns? Uh, yeah, they do give you diminishing returns to some extent, I think. Retaliation attacks, though. Alright, let's make sure our pollution cloud is nice and clear. And I guess we could start on... Air purification. Why don't we now try to get our pollution cloud as small as possible as well? And maybe there won't be any urgent need to clear the biters. Also, I should be careful. The further out I go, the more special biters there are, and we might just meet nuke biters. As you can see, these ones like acid. Oh, it's Dealing more damage to it. Let's pick this up. I think these were the ones that gave me some of the most trouble defending a base because 
they would leave a big AoE cloud of damage after they died. And I had to have very thick walls so that all I was losing was walls. Nuke biters? Yes, indeed. Stream popping this morning. Zura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Those are the poison ones? Yeah. What are these ones? As long as they're not nukes. This little thing. And other I forgot to re up my jetpack fuel as well. Adek uh, Akira DK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Motherboard Hugo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome also. and pick this up. Um, we've gotten past the edge of our pollution cloud. What are you up to today? Getting more iron? Yeah, we've got iron secured here, kind of. I've cleared this whole area. 8.4 mil is a pretty big step up from less than... Uh, less than 0.4 mil, so that should be fine. There's a pretty, there's a relatively small bottleneck we can secure here. That whole area is going to be cut off from the biters, so we can start our rail bases there in earnest once we have defenses. And right now, oh, 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 I'm glad I checked my fuel. We're down to 18, 17, 16. I wonder if we're consuming fuel at a less efficient rate because we have more jetpacks. Uh, let's grab some more. Thank you. Is it choo-choo time? We're getting there. Let's clear out this uh, unexplored area over the oceans, or giant lake, I guess. And putting fuel on the bar might not be a bad idea. Oh, cool. Nice. Good call. We got more biters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Luckily that mistake happened on the last line of turrets. And we're 3% of the way to bioprocessing. Nice. Uh, could you... Stop shredding that rock, please, with the bullets. You need Arty Cat? Arty Cat. <laughs> nice. I hear turrets. They keep coming from up here. Maybe I should go pay them a visit. They're doing a retaliation attack. If I attack something here, I'm just going to get more retaliations. I just want to get the pollution cloud clear, or a little bit further.
Oh, that's a big one. So biters don't regen from the creep if you leave it, or I don't think the creep affects anything. As far as I know. Okay, that is significantly beyond our cloud. I think I'll leave that base. Oh, I guess I won't leave this one. Creep never regens anything. Creep is just to be harvested for the player. Okay. next. Physical projectile damage. We probably could stand to gain from that right now. What else is missing? Uh, defender, sure. Projectile 3, projectile 4. What's that? Lithium. Oh, that's that thing that I didn't have before that I didn't realize I didn't need yet. We still don't have advanced oil processing. Should probably knock that off. Um... That's enough for now. And down we go. I may as well wait till the projectile damage upgrade is done before I go kill those. Let's keep exploring a bit. Keep a close eye on our fuel. I should probably fly to the edge of the uh, edge of the map and see how far it is. That's a big nest. All the way out here, there's biters on the move. Rampant does not play by the usual rules. Those are turrets that I haven't picked up. I would never abandon you. I am good turret daddy. The defenders are actually pretty good while you're using the jetpack to fly around. Yeah. Even with, uh... Oh my goodness. Even with just, like, exoskeleton legs, um, you can sort of... Rubber band is the wrong term, but you can, like, drag them in a way so that they'll fly over biter nests in a big swarm. It's quite the UPS hog, rampant is. Yeah, it won't be so bad when we clear out um, planets, though. We'll keep, as much as we can, we'll keep any planet... Um, Either, like, surface deleted or cleared. 
and just Nalvis isn't going to be that bad. Especially when we don't have Biter expansion. That's, that's, that's a composite of nests. Uh-oh. I don't like how far apart these uh, ore mining drill spots are. The save file is going to be needlessly large. If we're going to get a decent rate from most planets. Because we can't trim down to a small amount. We're going to end up with like five minute save times again. You have rampant in that save? Yes indeed. Red ammo is a resource efficient because biter armor takes off a lot of the damage, yeah. Alright, let's uh, clear off that little black spot. And maybe now we'll build something. Another core mining spot on a little island again. Well, it's not like uh, landfill doesn't exist. That's the trouble with continuing to use ammo. Yeah, lasers work on everything pretty well. Although, uh, to a lesser extent with rampant, I think. Don't I have... Uh... No, these are regular electric poles. That's why part of that was dark. I really am appreciating the... Uh... The lit up electric poles mod. Okay, where's our car? Here it is. So, what should we focus on now? I think air purification. That's. That's much later in the tech tree. Uh, what do we need? While that's researching, we can jump ahead and look at what we're going to do with that. Air purifier. So it requires some kind of ingredient. Purif... Let's look at the research. Air purifier, pollution filter, used pollution filter, restore used pollution filter, assembly, and that's all, I think. Purifier. Uh, no, that is the building. How do we make... How do we make this work? Shift right click, shift left click, doesn't seem to do anything. Pollution filter? Filter. There it is. Pollution filter. Improved pollution filter. Okay. So this just goes like this, I think. Electricity would be good. And cheat some resources. Faster than that, please. Faster than that, please. Cool. Uh, it's going to take a minute 
and I'm a little scared to accelerate time. I think it might accelerate the normal game time. Explosives are the way to go. Uh, alright. Let's go for... What was I going to check? Blanking on some... Oh, that's right. If I slow... Uh, slow time down... Yes, it does affect the normal game. Okay. So I won't be doing that to speed things up. Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight? Question mark? We've seen like eight to ten core mining spots in this whole area. Nine or sixteen is where diminishing returns gets a bit sketchy, depending on how much power you have to play with. Um, they probably haven't changed that. Or mining, here we go. To get two times total output, you need two times two. Three is three times three. Yeah, so it's the same. So if we want like 16 drills on a planet, we're going to have to have a huge area covered, which means the save time is going to get long. That's unfortunate. They are working differently. There's no point in taking more than two. How do you mean? Uh, can we... How do I... Can I just put in a core drill even though... No, I can't. Um, I have seen it in the editor, but that's... Surfaces? No. Uh, I don't think we're going to find it under resources. Or cliffs, for that matter. Nothing found. What is it called on our game over here? Core seam. Uh, or nothing of the sort. I might have to jump into the other lab save to test this. Yeah. When you do your air purifiers, I'd start by setting up a bunch around the center of the cloud. It'll pull back the cloud to less than half the size. Yeah, uh, that's about what I was thinking, because of the way pollution spreads. You get less for the next one and so on. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You can't benefit from spamming them all over one surface. You do get a lot less per drill, and you never get enough to go past the minimum yield limit. Minimum yield limit? Core mining is infinite but requires a lot of power. Core seam only found on plants and moons. Uh, core seam determines the type of the core fragment they yield. First core miner placed gives this much, diminishing returns, and so on. Core mining on planets is slower overall, however, the weaker. Okay. Doesn't say anything about that. 
second or third tab? What do you mean? I don't think the numbers changed from 0.5. It requires half as much power from 0.5, and the stack sizes are smaller. In 0.5, people placed enough core drills to basically not have any negatives to adding more due to rounding errors. Oh no. Uh, I'm surprised how long this research is taking. Maybe we should make more labs. Okay, if if chemical tech cards are already almost full, red red cards are full. Rude meteors are giving us a headache. Wait, what happened? You killed my. Okay, that's just uncalled for. Frickin' meteors. How many did we miss? I think it was only this one that landed in our base. Oh, and there's two machines missing here. Jeez. Yeah, I thought I didn't have undergrounds like that before. That is rough. Could have been worse. I don't want to put point defenses everywhere. How long till we get installations? Uh, we need rocket tech cards. Which we could research pretty soon. We need LDS and heat shielding. I guess that's not surprising. Hmm. I want to knock off a bunch of other stuff research-wise first, though. What's our rate of consumption here? Uh, only 38 per minute. That's less than half of what we're able to produce if our resources don't dry up. Maybe we should... It feels like it should be overkill, but maybe I should build more of these labs. Yellow inserters, they're stuck holding iron. Uh, yes indeed. Thank you. All right, let's copy this and make a little adjustment here. I think it'll be something like this. And this. Oh, that reaches further than I thought. Uh, I don't like them crisscrossing like that with the long nose. There we go. Um, I was going to say that's wrong, but does it matter which is which? Kind of. I think I'd like the ones with the blues to be long arms where possible. Why not just turn build 90 degrees and build it up instead. I don't want to. It's too much work. A different kind of work, I guess. Okay. Um, and then... This one... Can 
can go here. Can we do that without disrupting anything else? Seems good. Perfect. that we get uh, resources to the end of all these belts. That one is check, that one, and that one. Fantastic. So we need 20 labs. Let's take these two. And then we need some small electric motors. What else? Stone brick, copper plate, single cylinder engine, uh, how many am I holding? Five. Cool. Uh, we need some more automation pause. Now I've lost count. Uh, 10 and 20. Okay. Lab scoper. Uh, I actually ran out. Inserters. didn't reach. Fantastic. So for current research that gives us 76 per minute. That is comfortably inside our max rate for producing all of this, but not by much, not by too much. Still some basic tech I haven't done, that's true. Oh, that's why this is still here, yeah. Did I get the uh, condenser done yet? Or did I cancel it? I did. And what's this, biolab? I did. We need 200 biomatter to get it started. Looks like it would have got hit by the asteroid if we'd built this already. It's kind of slow to build. Condenser. Uh, oxygen, please. And there's only one recipe so far, biomatter. Nice. So we've got a infinite, albeit slow, rate of biomatter now. And that's probably all we need, honestly. If I need a burst of it, I can go pick up one of these gigantic patches of reap as well. Air purification is coming. I just realized how much of a pain it's going to be with only belts to do the air purification if I want it fully automated. 
Oh no. Oh no. Um. So anyway, I did something else. Why do I have blank tech cards as well? Get out of here. Forty labs is fine. Yeah, I should think so. If you double up on the labs again, you could fill them with prod modules. Uh, that's true. I don't think I have modules yet. How much power do we have? Quite a lot, but we're burning coal to do it. I would like to get away from that. At least to some extent. How far are we from nuclear? Uh... We need space science for reprocessing? Okay, we need rocket tech card for nuclear. That's not too surprising. And we can actually get our first... Uh, I think this is our first infinite source of power for the power armor that's always on. Uh, with just rocket tech card. Let's peek ahead a little bit at rocket tech card, shall we? Electric furnace, speed module, blank, and satellite telemetry. Okay. Uh, so we need to launch rockets before we can get... I guess that makes sense. Is it satellite rocket silo? The one that's under military? I think, it, I think this wasn't under military in um, SE without K2. I'm just going to save real quick on the off chance that this has some perverse effect on the main game. And... Super speed modules... Power... And also a satellite... Where's the satellite? GPS satellite? Is that? Navigation satellite. Produces... That's what I'm looking for. Produces satellite telemetry. What is this, though? Uh... GPS satellite, I wonder. Planetary teleporter. Okay. That's that's very cool. Instantaneous teleportation between two points on a surface. Uh, I think that's just for the player, probably. Whatever the case. Uh, I'm curious to confirm that this won't cause any issues on the main save, like accidentally give us cheap navigation satellite. Nope. nope. I need to try this teleporter in my old save. I've never used it. Indeed. Satellite error invalid launch location. <laughs> I think it's because on this, uh, lab thing, there's no, like, there's no other surfaces. That's why you would want a separate save to do some things with editor extensions and space exploration. Oh, we haven't got research queued. Uh, personal battery might be a good idea. I don't think we need it that badly right now, though. There's so much to research. Let's get this finished. And apparently for vulcanite processing, we need to have been to space. What else? 
Well, let's knock out heat shielding LDS, because why not? Apparently we needed that for electric boiler. I guess that's not surprising. Heat shielding does make sense. We're going to need that to make our steam battery to stop the CME. We'll be needing electric furnace to get to rocket tech card. And we still haven't unlocked modules. All right, that'll do for now. Can you check when the requested chests are researched? Uh, yep. Logistics... Logistic system. Uh, it requires utility science pack and space science pack. I believe these are the first two that you, that you get in space. But suffice to say, we won't be able to use logistic bots um, while we're on planet. Or at least... Let's see, purple, blue, and green. So no requests and no active provider. So yeah, we'll only we'll only have storage and well let me let me confirm that we can even get that far. Logistic robots only doesn't even re require the next tech card. Um so that gives us storage and passive providers, but that's all. So we can get bots to bring us our stuff. That's the extent of it. Okay, thank you. It is third one I get, I think. Fantastic. What should we do while we wait for more of this research? Probably clear more biters and explore. Uh, I would love to have better tech to do that with. I would love it if adaptive armor... I, I guess it makes sense that adaptive armor doesn't fit in cars, but I would love it if it were possible to get shields into a car or tank while cars or tanks are still relevant. Um... We could do some better bullets. We just have to add steel to rifle mags. It's a bit awkward to do with the build that we've already got here. And I don't really feel like improving that. I just want to get... Uh, I just want to get a stock of armor-piercing to go attack the biters with directly. Uh, so we got... Coal, iron, copper, and steel. Where would be a nice little spot that we can take that off the bus? Iron, copper, coal, and steel are actually all very, very close to each other. And as a matter of fact, we could take it from right here. That's perfect. Ecto Sun, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, we're going to go... I don't even need to jump into the editor extensions for this. Your... Yoruboo? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's our ratio going to be like? Uh, that is extremely positive. Is it going to be 1 to 3, just like vanilla? Let's make some more assembly machines. At this point in a bus design, I tend to go into train towns. Yeah, I'm moving in that direction. Um, but first, that is negative. Oh, it's one to two now. Okay. So we need uh, well how fast would this be 45 per minute I want a stack per minute D does that seem excessive uh, 
So I would need like, let's call it four of these. One, two, three, four, and then eight. We're not going to be able to just stretch it up that way. Power poles, you are giving me a headache. Okay, let's start over here. It's iron, coal, and copper plate. Uh, two to one to one. I could do some fancy belt stuff, but the amount of space it would add, um, I don't feel like doing it. So we'll just go iron and copper. Do I have room to do this? I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Copper. I don't love that we're doing that right before this part, but it's probably fine. Alright, what's our rate here? Three per second each, that's like nothing. Also, coal happens to be right here. Uh, if long arm insert has reached one more tile, that would be convenient. Instead, uh, I guess we'll do this. Also, I'm out of inserters. Uh, individually, very slow. And then we want... Well, first of all, we need more assemblers. Um, I think it was eight, right? That is a perfect ratio. Okay. And I could probably fit these up here. Nice and easy. We need steel and ammo. Three and six per second, no worries. Yellow belt is fine. And put that on the opposite side. Let's go grab some inserters. I just remembered I can jetpack. Feels good. And then we take from here. Uh. Why don't I put all of these on the same side? And shove things into a box. How big of a box? Probably just a regular steel box. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we got coal mining. What's this? Steam. 1k water and 10 pyro flux makes 1k steam and a tiny ch chance of random metal or stone. LDS, fantastic. Uh, so let's get some steel chests. Should probably pick up some steel while I'm here. 
should probably get this out of my inventory while I'm here. And now that I look at it, we could very easily put this ammo into the train. But by the time... No, I shouldn't think like that. Um, let's just put this ammo into the train. Don't think I need fast one, though. And then we would need to change the logic. Um, would anything less than 100 work? I think it would. Or everything less than 100. False if there are no inputs. True if there are no inputs. But if... If regular bullets get down to 100, it's going to keep delivering them. But if I change it... If this is full and I change it to... Uh, armor-piercing... We've got wooden boxes here, right? So I think I'll have to pay a visit to all of these stations, give them bigger boxes, and then change it to armor-piercing rounds. Let's get rid of all this. And more spaghetti. Look at this random iron. Oops. Oops. doop a doop Research getting done rather quickly now. We got steam turbines. I guess that's not surprising. Yeah. We can do steam power before nuclear power because we have electric boilers. Um, what is that? Reinforced plates. Uh, walk speed 175%. Steel and refined concrete. Good grief. Does this go in space or no? I would imagine not, since space platform scaffold requires that. Space science. I think I will do some media point defenses, as much as they will be a bit of a nuisance. Gas power station. Oh, we haven't done LTN yet. And I would like to have substations. Advanced oil. Biofuel. Fuel plus biomethanol makes biofuel. Let's learn about that. Laser, rocket control unit, sure. Okay. So we're going to do... Even more storage over here. Oh. Oh, these, this is just manually supplied fuel. Uh, how about no? Actually? Looks like it's just concrete plus, yeah. Biofuel isn't worth. It's not like you're in a rush to get the defenses up, so you have time to wait for the planet-wide stuff. Yeah, but we already got something broken um, by meteors, and by the time I noticed, the ghosts weren't there, so I didn't... I had to remember what to put back there. Um, where's our fuel processor? There we go. And... 
have just put this down here, actually. Uh, how about this as well? Fantastic. All that's left is to power up, I think. Oh, I'm out of power poles. Remember when these were a pain to handcraft? Not anymore. I mean, they would be a pain to handcraft from scratch still, but you know what I mean. Does that not reach? It does not. Alright, there we go. Better ammo. Go. And I'll just double check once more. Uh, we're not going to have any trouble with belt or inserter throughput. Fantastic. Alright, let's go update our stations. I'll grab some more fuel. Let's go clockwise so we don't get confused about which ones we've updated. Hey Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Soon have construction bots anyway, so then you get the ghosts. I thought the, uh, I, I thought maybe the mod had changed that. I thought ghosts would just, would stay there for a long time, regardless. Oh, I should copy-paste this because when I use the jetpack, it's going to get rid of the shift right click, shift left click. Research is really getting going now. Uh, upgrade this. Fantastic. Next is the north wall. Perfect. I should definitely move this, uh, what is it called? Sentinel. I've been a little bit annoyed by not being able to see this train on the map. So where is the Sentinel that I placed here? There it is. Literally one tile away from where it would be. I could have no, wait, if I had navsat, I could have changed that remotely. Alright, paste those settings on, and I guess I didn't need to... I probably didn't need to change these to steel chests at all, but it's fine. Do it anyway. Yeah, because these chests weren't full. Still, now they're less likely to get broken somehow. Oh, and since I got reminded that uh, that walls actually stop by to spit, I should come back here with some walls. And then one more to go. So if we wanted, if we wanted to power soul, uh, if we wanted to power laser turrets with wind power, we would need ten per turret plus a little bit, assuming there's not much throughput. Let's go pick up those turrets over there. Nope, I am not here. Name in base? Absolutely. Place a radar? I don't have any yet. But we can see what we need to see here now. 
And it uses a lot less power than a radar would. Jetpack go burr. Just double check I set that up properly. Yes, I did. Fantastic. Let's repair this while we're here. Grab some fishies. Aim Lab Fish Edition. Andy Gaming, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, raiders. I think you dropped by earlier today as well. Well, welcome anyway. Uh, let me not forget this name in base. Nope, I am not here. Let's grab stone brick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five, fourteen. I think. Oh, I went way too far. <laughs> Streamlabs took a dump. Oh no. Right. Uh,. Nope, I am not here. I can't believe I missed... Wait, can I pick a dollies this? I can. Brilliant. Calculated. Fantastic. Let's give it a save, shall we? And, very important, we've got turrets surrounding these. Because the biters, it turns out, love that this was actually bite a catnip they were they were more interested in destroying this than anything that was producing pollution uh all right what's next i still have some turrets i left up there as well oh yeah how much crude oil do we have left still says 4.4 mil that's weird I'm pretty sure we've been consuming crude oil. I'm pretty sure we are consuming crude oil. And over the last few hours has definitely been a significant chunk of it. So one day, four hours, 15 minutes. This was one day, two hours, 35. I don't think this 4.4 million is accurate or something. Uh, this is not being consumed because it's only for our cliff explosives. Which we haven't needed a whole lot of. Wait, the biters will actually chew on the letters? <laughs> Yeah, they focus fired it. Uh, Sisyphus NL. Aim and base. Absolutely. Let's see. Here we go. What's the time next to the resource name? Uh, that was when I made this tag, because I wanted to see how quickly we were running out of crude oil. But judging by... Pro we, we have no productivity bonuses. Or I guess... I guess we do have some. But I don't think that would account for the difference. Let's see... Product yeah, we do have productivity bonus here, 28%. Um, because I haven't played with limited oil before, I wanted to get a feel for how quickly we're running out of this. So I marked this with a timestamp and said, when I moused over this, it said 4.4 mil. It still does say 4.4 mil, even though 
like half of our fluid. Well, not half of it. A pretty big section of the area under the graph of our total consumption of crude oil has been in that last couple of hours, unsurprisingly. So, I don't know. I don't think the patch aggregate is accurate. Yeah, probably. Ezriak, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Reset the ammo train. It's emptying the normal ammo on that station and won't move. Uh-oh. No, it's still moving. I did add steel chests. Um... So it'll probably empty itself once and then go about its business after that. Research is done again. Uh, let's see. Insert a capacity bonus, which also buffs our bulk rail loaders. Oh, tool belt. Hell yes. And that's the best one we can get until space. Uh, let's get tier one modules out of the way. Bulk rail loaders. Stack inserter with filter. Concrete walls. Sure. Actually, let's get radar done. And we can already do advanced radar. Two megawatt, though. Power? Power's still pretty good. I could probably stand to place the solar panels we've been building. Just got one machine chugging away at it, but that is not the smallest amount of solar panels. Do we have, uh... Doop -doop. Do we have substations? Yes, we do. And substation with light. Fantastic. Let's make sure this works. Doop -a doop again. We're really plowing through the research now. The wall outposts have less than power. Oh, yeah, 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 because they're in their own little network. Um, they've got enough to run the Sentinels, and then a little bit more. When the inserters do their thing, they can be a bit short on power, but that's fine. Yeah, but the station is asking for the piercing, and if the box doesn't get it, it'll stay there until full empty. Yeah, I'm not overly concerned by that. Uh, what are we down to here? 4.4k? Okay, that might take a minute. I will concede that. Is this working? Steel beam. Oh, I didn't put this inserter here yet. I'm glad I checked. And I didn't fix this part of the belt earlier. There we go. Fantastic. Probably don't need to accumulate more than two stacks of lighted substations. Let's go talk to our train. Actually, let's get rid of these stacks of regular rifle mags. And I'll go pick up a bunch of them from the train. Why don't I just shove them in here until the train leaves? And then I'll take a bunch back.
The world has gotten so much smaller since I got the jetpack. It's beautiful. Alright. Um, can I drop you in here? Still got 91. Never mind. Okay. What are, what else are we researching? Spiked concrete walls might be nice. They're a bit expensive. Spiked steel wall, that is. Oh, what's this? Immersite night vision. Probably not that exciting when we've got um, uh, when we've got perfect night glasses from the Afraid of the Dark mod. Oh, I don't have Fluid Wagon yet. Accumulators. Uh, large containers. We are going to have to research that at some point. I don't think I can surgically remove that, even though I have AAI containers installed. Whoops, it's fine. Uh, let's knock off steam turbines so we can get started on our battery against the CME. Landfill might be good to have. Weapon shooting speed. It's only for bullets and stuff. Oh, do we not have a rocket launcher? We can get a rocket launcher. We need ex we need flammables first. That sounds weird. Don't have flamethrower turrets yet either. Let's get these. I don't know how much I'm gonna... I don't know how excited about getting a rocket launcher I'm gonna be. Um... When I've got this sniper rifle already, though. T hacks, if you could try real jetpack, would you? Absolutely. Although, very, very carefully at first. Isn't there a mod setting in K2 to remove the large storage? I don't know if it's too late to change it. Um, container? Add Crastorio containers, yeah. I would have to... I would have to restart. Or is this... Is this startup as in... Just restart Factorio? Uh, okay, let's, let's save... And, in fact, I'll make a backup. Uh, quit game. Mods. I mean, settings, mod settings. Container. Add Crastorio containers. Confirm. Crestorio containers include the tanks? Oh. Well, I'm not playing without those. Those are lovely. We're about to find out. Okay. Load without syncing mods. Uh, migrated content. That's a lot, actually. KR containers, removed technologies. KR, big container, medium container. I didn't build any of these, right? Let's see if our 
Did we just get hit by a meteor again? Okay, no real damage. That's good. Uh, let's see if those big tank. Oh, there they are. Large storage tank. This seems okay. And then if we look at research, there's no Crestorio storage. Um, I'm tentatively going to say it's working just fine. Hooray, I was helpful, I think. Yes, indeed. Migrated content refers to recipe and researchers. Is that asteroid going to cause a train derailment? No, the train will actually move straight through it. Uh, here, I'll show you. I'll drive it manually, just so we can watch. Or I'll just give it a temp stop. Oh no, what's going to happen? Nothing. Literally nothing. Back to ammo pickup for you. Lame? Well, it would have to add some kind of physics. Um, I probably shouldn't pick that up if I might get uranium. And then I have to deal with the uranium. Most things won't break just from one media apart from grey assemblers. Is that so? How much health does it... What's the health difference? Uh, 300 versus 350. It's not that big. boop a doop Um... Let's just let research keep going. I'll decide what to add. Some chests might disagree. That's true. I think it was prudent to leave this extra space uh, to expand these builds, but it looks like we've got more than enough already. I don't regret this decision at all, though. Wooden chests are at risk, but steel ones will be fine. Okay. Products finished. 33. Fantastic. Uh, what else were we up to? Doop -a -doop. Oh, that's where I've been getting raw rare metals, I think. Other than that lot that I got a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we've got 53. Okay, cool. Good to know. And there's that uranium. No! That was surprisingly painful. I thought that stuff was supposed to kill you slowly. Shift C. Oh my goodness. That had more range than I thought. That's one way to clear out your inventory. It's very effective, actually. But now I don't know what I'm missing. I mean, I'm sure it's most of it. Uh, for some handcrafting. Get like a stack or two of everything. I wish I could do like you do in Terraria, hold alt click on something and it becomes favorited and it won't get quick stacked into chests among other things. I wish I could do that in Factorio and like shift C, drop off all the excess stuff. So I'd keep one stack of all these intermediates. Rubber band Rambo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what should we do now while we're researching still? 
Oh yeah, I was getting a bunch of good ammo together to attack the biters, but the train's going to be stealing it for a while. Oh, that's already a lot. Yeah, that's right. I, I shaped this to give us almost a stack per minute. Uh, okay. Just, just give me all that for now. And apparently it's never going to get rid of these old mags. So, in that case... Um, here we go. That's what logi bots are for, I suppose. Although sometimes oh, something's taking damage, it's just some wall. Wait, something's taking damage. I think I should go pay those biters a visit. We got good ammo, we got lots of repair pack. we could probably do with some more repair packs. We've got rockets now, but again, with the anti-material rifle, I don't know if I care. Was there a rocket turret? I think I added a rocket turret if it wasn't included in something else. Rocket turret. Oh, that's a big one, it looks like. I'm guessing this is pretty far down the tech tree. Look at that. Oh, you have to aim it? Or does it... Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Hmm... So it's kind of like a flame turret, kind of, with a more narrow, more range, more narrow, and it shoots rockets, or explosive turret rocket, nuclear turret rocket, <laughs> antimatter turret rocket. That seems a bit excessive. Uh, this doesn't need to be here anymore. Um, yeah, so I assume we're not going to get, like... We're not going to get something like the size of a laser turret that has a bit more range or something like that. They're pretty awesome at firing nukes. Just nuke every biter that shows up. Just casually. Alright, um... Turret. There's not some kind of turret that I'm not aware of yet, that we can get soon, right? Laser turret is very late, uh, the big laser turret. Railgun turret? That's also pretty late. Railguns aren't far away? I think they are. Railgun. Uh, material one, production, space science. A2 adds laser artillery. Yeah, I saw that. Railguns is more what you use to kill biters. Alright. I'm interested to see if there's any point in putting some of those turrets on spaceships as well. That'd be kind of cool. Or if you can, for that matter. Let's go pay these biters a visit. Um, since they were so cordial as to invite us. Oh, 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 oh. Not falling for this. That could have been bad. Our hotkey didn't work for ammo. Fantastic. Didn't even lose a turret. Get spaceship in asteroid belt. Get spaceship in asteroid belt. You get a freebie railgun when you launch the satellite. Interesting. 
didn't we get, like, I think it was the bio gun and the cryo gun were the freebies that we got last time. Did they change it, or is there any variance? I'll try not to think about... I'll try and blank my mind of whatever I was just thinking about. Okay. Uh, there's a nest over here as well. They're probably attacking us. Even though outside of pollution cloud. Might be random, but I've only seen railgun in point six. Fair enough. It's probably about time oh my goodness. I was gonna say it's probably about time to take a break, but actually it's almost time to finish the stream. Uh, I guess time flies when you're just plowing through the research like no tomorrow. Not to mention the biters. It's in Rampant Arsenal? What's in Rampant Arsenal? Oh, the, uh, the sniper rifle? I don't think I... I don't think I added anything that said rampant other than rampant. I could be wrong. Oh, we haven't been researching for a minute. Rocket fuel... Uh... really care about explosive rocketry. Advanced radar. I'm curious to see how powerful this is. Let's build one before we finish today. I should have done flare stack by now, I guess. Battery. Portable generator. Whatever. I, I don't know if I'll use this, but we'll give it a... We'll knock off that research. Did I not research this already? I did. I mean, I queued it. And this is a prereq, so let's get that out of the way. Let's go pick up those other turrets. Or things. These have the piercing mags in them already. I don't remember doing that. So at this rate, maybe we get to space uh, next time? Or the episode after that? Probably not. I don't know. Things are definitely speeding up, that's for sure. And there's more turrets over here. Fantastic. I don't think there's any more stragglers. Heal's already getting a bit low again. Hurry up, rocket fuel. 300, 200. 
What's our rate of consumption? Uh, 101 per minute, so it should be like one minute. Oh, I'm carrying all this ammo now. And I'll put it back here for the moment. Okay. Uh, it's all going pretty well at this point. Let's try peeking ahead at exactly what we need to do for the next science while we wait for the research. So tech card, we're going to need satellite telemetry data. Electric furnace, we're obviously not putting on a belt. I mean a bus that is. Heat shielding LDS, we will. Uh, steel furnace, we won't. Steel furnace. And that requires stone furnace. So it's going to look something like this. We also need speed modules. Um, I guess I'll build this next to a speed module build. Unless... No, it's only tier 1 speed modules, so we can just have a little dedicated thing here. Is it showing those highlighted because I finished researching them in the main game? I think it is. That's great, actually. Electronic components. We'll want to steal those from up here, I think. Um... Solid fuel, I recall, we make in a... specifically a fuel refinery. We can just turn whichever type of oil into it. Usually light. also want furnaces in the mall for making the industrial version. We'll get there. Uh, electronic circuits already on the bus. Blank tech card. So I might want to tack it onto what we've already got here. There should still be a surplus of them. We could split this off and squeeze it through or something. Haven't left a ton of space for it. Uh, let's handcraft some chemical plants while we're at it. What are we missing? Pipe. And... So that's all of that accounted for, except for satellite telemetry data. How fast is this per minute? 7.5, just like all the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to bother building more than one machine. Oh wait, that was... Tech card... 18.75. Okay, so this is significantly slower. Um, not that I'm too worried about that. For our initial build, I just want it to work. Um, or maybe we should go into the rail base before we do this. That isn't the worst idea. Especially with how convoluted some of the builds are getting. Did we finish our radar research? Advanced radar. Radar plus rare metals plus advanced circuit plus steel beam. 
let's grab some automation cores. Uh, some steel plate. How much power does this need? One megawatt, two megawatt. Um, that would be this many. 50 or 100 wind turbines. I was thinking of putting it somewhere remote so we can really clearly see how how powerful it is. I could run power from here. We've got big power poles now, actually. I haven't used them yet. And give me those substations as well. Alright. Uh, we want a radar, and we want... I've got some rare metal somewhere. Like, just a handful. Where was it? I'm surprised it's not in the shelter. I found, like, a limited amount of rare metals. Probably from asteroids or something. And I smelted them, and they were in a row here, and I removed them at some point, and I don't know where they are now. Hmm. They're not here. Oh, uh, probably in one of those rando chests like these? Here they are, 60 rare metals. How much do I need? Five. Okay, cool. Let's get some red circuits. That's a good sight to see, 19,000. And I want to compare these two. We do have two megawatts to spare, surely. Yeah, we're good. Try to use trick with two wind turbines? What trick is that? I know it'll piss me off, you'll be faster than me. I'm sorry. Alright, power... what the... Oh, it's because I changed my jetpack. Turned my jetpack on or off. And this will do. All right, radar. Is this going to be any different from vanilla? Doesn't look like it. Although it might be faster. For one megawatt, uh, I'm not shocked. Where is it scanning now? Oh, down here. Oh, so this is the limit of its range, I think. Something like that. No? Yes. I think that's the, I think that's the corner. All right, super radar, I mean advanced radar. Uh... That seems bigger. I would expect nothing less. Sector scanning is quite fast. Yeah, that's pretty decent value. Especially with how relatively easy we can get power in K2. All right, uh, let's find a stream to raid. I th think I'll continue using the backup save just in case, but I, I seriously doubt there's going to be any problems since we removed the containers. All right, who is streaming? Preferably K2 SE, or SE at the very least, or K2. We got Diablo doing K2. Good start. 
Uh, we'll probably give Diablo a visit. Lone Wolf is doing Pine Dons. That's not the same as Nyron Wolf. Uh, I'm not seeing any other K2 and or SE, I don't think. Except the one we raided yesterday. Let's drop in on Diablo. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints uh, if you're interested in that. If you have any questions, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you, Veldak, Tail and Grandmaster. Thanks for hanging out. Tomorrow we're going to be continuing trying to knock off every boss in Terraria on Master Mode without any boss arenas. And I have no idea how I'm going to get, uh, what is it called? Betsy? The dragon boss from the Dungeon Defenders crossover? I don't know if I can do that solo, to be honest. Alright, take care, guys. Did I screw it up? I screwed it up. Hold on. Hooray! Fixed it! Okay, uh, this obviously does not go there, that goes there, and can we solve this by putting in...